That's a crib. I'm beast cuz. <laughs> Beastie cuz. Beastie cuz. So what were you about to ask me? Bye, Gina. Why did you feel the need to go so hard with this? You know, since the Eminem costume, it's been kind of dry over here for Halloween. You know, mm. I just haven't really gone hard since That then. was in the middle of the hair transplant. Actually, <laughs> that's when it was. I remember that. That's true. How did you know that? Because you could tell. Now, Damn. looking back on it, now you could tell. You knew, huh? Beast Coast I did, but you know, you're my nigga, crisis. bro. You're my nigga. I'm not going to. I got the hair transplant done right after that. Really? And actually, this morning, while I was having my hair dyed blonde, I was thinking, this is not something I think you're supposed to do as a person with a hair transplant. So I'm mm. really pushing it to the limit right it here. It looks fire, though. I can't hold you. I appreciate that. I Wait, had it so blonde and then green over it, so it's going to be blonde after that. I was going to say, are you going to just rock the green for like... Nah, I'm going to go home and wash my hair. But then it's going to be blonde, and then I'm just going to have to get used to being Mark McGrath out here, you know? Oh, it's like the, like, not the, it's like a, like the, te the temporary one. It's blonde, but then there's green on top with, like, the green is just a spray. Okay, yeah. I thought you went full, got it dyed no. green. I mean, you guys went pretty hard, too. No. You stole Yuri's mask and just put it on. <laughs> I stole Yuri's complete fit because I didn't have a fit, honestly. Well, I pulled up with the Joker Bapes on. Ooh. Well, he got the. He Those got, are slick. He got the I only wear Joker. high rollers. Shout out to shout out to Beast Beast Cub. He you was, can't even see me. He huh? doesn't even know that he's leaving you hanging. <laughs> oh, my bad. Cub. Shout out my nigga Beastie Cub. <laughs> the Beastie Boys. That's oh, you two. That's you two over here. That's a good one. I like that. So, no, but he was supposed to be Batman, and you were supposed to be bisexual Robin. Why had to be bisexual, Robin? Just because Robin's bisexual, right? Who He's said bisexual that? bisexual now. Yeah. yeah, that's what we keep hearing. One you know them. what? I, as a spokesperson for Robin, I don't think you should uh, judge his fucking preferences, all right? Listen. There's like four different Robins, bro. One of them is bisexual. If Robin wants to be a booty clapper, it's all good as far as I'm concerned, right? Oh, my God. Why, Why did y'all put candy right in front of me, knowing I was going to make all this weird noises? That's, that's what I was at. thinking. <laughs> You're going to be <laughs> sucking it down. <laughs> <laughs> for sweet tarts. It's funny how he, like AD is like visibly having a hard time like getting into the conversation because he can't see us. <laughs> I work hard for y'all. It's like he's really a beast. <laughs> I'm already hot as fuck with all this shit on. Are you really? Well, you could at least take the handkerchief off. No, that's the part of the outfit. Mm. Handkerchief. He got a handkerchief on, did, too. Did you just, like, dump those through the mask and just hope that they hit your mouth? <laughs> Only, like, three hit my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> the other ones are just, like... <laughs> they just hearing that mask in my shirt. What is wrong with this guy? Are you going to shout out your amazing uh, artist who did all this for you? Tara Lynn. Shout out to Terry Lynn. I tagged her on my story earlier. She's uh, my girl's makeup artist sometimes, mm. and she also does like special effect style uh, makeup sometimes. Obviously, she, she did, did a great job. Deal. Yeah, she did a great job. Thank you. I'm feeling pretty fresh out here. Yeah, it's totally honest, honest with you. It's honestly a little scary looking at you over here. Yeah? A little bit. That's hot. Is that your is that your regular teeth, or is that like... <laughs> <laughs> this is meth teeth. That's what I like to think. That's like you after a week. Is that my teeth would end up looking like this? Yeah. Yeah, when you don't shower for a week. Drop me like, off at Skid Row and let's see what happens. You'll fit in. <laughs> Can like we, this? I just want to acknowledge before we even get too deep into this. Me and the beast over here saw a woman put her entire hand in her butthole the other day. Yeah, yesterday. And then you wanted to just send it to the group chat like it was normal. And I said, shout out T-Rail in the middle of it. And AD starts dying <laughs> laughing. He can't control himself. He's dying laughing. People are going to be at home beating their meat to this fucking You're a hableless. How is that ableist? I don't know what ableist means. I just sounds like <laughs> ableist is like, you know, if you uh, were discriminating against somebody because they, you know, were missing an arm or they. Well, you said T Rail. Yeah, you did say T Rail. But I didn't say anything about him. I you said, said shout, shout out, out to T Rail because he's putting her arm in her fucking asshole. That's such a, a weird connection for you to have made because that's not what I meant at all. Well, what did you I mean then? So. I just thought it was funny to say shout out T Rail, who's like that's a married cap. man that Stop stays this. at home with his family all day while a girl was putting her fist with a rubber glove on it in her butthole. I thought she was insinuating no, that you were insinuating that it was T Rail's baby baby arm going that's after what, her asshole. That's what like that might have been how he lost use of his arm. Uh, maybe some sort of butt fingering type event. Bro, she she was like wrist deep. She was wrist deep. She was bleeding. What? He said he saw blood. I wasn't really sure. I seen blood. like from her asshole. But she went for it super fast. She might not have taken her time the way that like he put his mic in his <laughs> I mouth. Needed <laughs> <laughs> nah, that video. The video you sent to the group chat was like a minute long. So she definitely warmed it up a little bit. 
a little bit, but not not too much. Man, that she motherfucker just had a streak of blood. It. I seen it. She went like from fi- one finger to two. I don't three. even know. If she bothered with one. I think she might have just gone all four to start. Really? She was going. That crazy. was creepily satisfying. How? She was like, ah, God. God. Yeah. Yeah. Just hearing you. I was like, what the fuck? Great. You should have made her wear your fucking furry paw gloves. I ain't gonna lie. I seen pieces of the glove afterwards. I didn't want to touch it. I was so grossed up with the glove after. Wait, yeah. what? What was on the glove? Like doo doo? I didn't see they it, but it. I was just scared Probably of like boo boo and blood. I don't care what is on it. I don't care if she went to Starbucks three days ago. It's too much for me. I'm not trying to get involved with that. Yeah, like even when we went to go take the picture, I low key didn't want like her to grab my shoulder or something. <laughs> even she had a glove on. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it's still a little. Is being a superhero like being sweaty under a mask? That's one reason why people don't wear like superhero style costumes. If you really think about it, like I'm really sweating. Under like here. why there is not that many people that really dress me. like Spider Man. Like dressing like Spider Man is not practical. It's not at all. You have to walk Tell around. Tell that to Spider Cause he's been doing it all year. Yeah, but I bet he doesn't do it that much. Really, when you think about it, he probably only does it like here and there for when he's filming and stuff. He's probably moist as fuck under there. Pause. I was just telling the professor about Spider Cause, and he said that he found out about Spider Cause from watching us talk about it on here. Wow. Wow. Because the professor originally went viral dressing up as Spider-Man. Well, see, we we out here bridging the gap. Does everyone know who the professor is? Nope. I know the professor is. The professor's Professor X? No. No, the who? N1 basketball legend. Oh, my God. The little That's white guy, who? yes. Yep. Whoa. He was just in here. And what about White Chocolate? Where's he at? I don't wow. know. Wow. Where find him? But then, also, he gave me these. Hater blockers. You look insane right now. So if I want to block out any haters, like if I seen you at Skid Road, I'm saying <laughs> that guy is high. Like you, yeah. look, you, like you look like you just planted a bomb in this motherfucker. You're finna run to the corner and detonate it. I'm definitely the most sober person wearing this type of sunglasses at this moment. Mm. No, but the professor wears it, and he seems like you don't do nothing. Can you see out of those? Yeah, pretty good. They're mm-hmm. hater blockers. Better than his not vision helmet. blockers. I can't see you because you're a hater. Mm. Whoa, that was good. That was. Good. <laughs> He did the monster match. The monster match. <laughs> what the hell we got going Bum. on? This <laughs> Wait, does somebody need to turn the smoke machine on again? Wait, you got a smoke machine? No, 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 it's, it's on. Just let it hey, speaking of, speaking of smoke, I bought my first stream to the podcast today. Whoa. What you guys are smoking live? AD bro. has been talking about how he has a line of weed the coming Kazumi out. Pack. The Ooh. big chief finally the did it. The Uzumaki. Uzumaki. The Uzumaki. It's, it's here. It's about to be ready to be sold. <laughs> I want you motherfuckers, beats cuz, want y'all to smoke this on the pot today. Look at, look at how I'm smoking. This is how smoked out I am. No way it says pasta gang on And I can't gang gang see you there. haters. <laughs> and it says pasta gang on there. <laughs> oh, Does shit. it? Yes. yes. Oh! I got to take this mask off. <laughs> I can't commit to this. I can't even see the weed. You can't even see the smoke. You're not enjoying the smoke machine for what it is. This shit oh, is I'm lit. About to, I'm about to run out the office. Can we get a blunt <laughs> roller? We got to get somebody to roll up the AD dope. Yeah, roll it up. Are we, are if we, this shit is going to get me half as high as this motherfucker is, what then you, I'm lit. He don't even be high. Who don't be high? I meant more like high. Like, look at him. Like, he looks like he's high. Oh. He's fucking... Dressed up in a crazy beast outfit. Wait, can we bring can we bring Trev on the on the podcast? Oh, yeah, bring oh, yeah, Trev. Trev, come yeah, here, Trev. come here, Trev. Get over here, Trev. Well, he about to put he got to put the grills in. The right world there. needs to see how a lot of people in our office went fairly hard. I told them I was going to do this costume. Damn, a few of them went hard. Although a lot of them have like taken hey, off hey, their. Hey, uh, hey can you the bring costumes? me a napkin? Bring me a napkin, please. I'm Trev sorry. is the best. I'm all wet. Yuri, <laughs> can you just make sure the the, co- the the camera shows Trev well when he does get on camera here because. My boy went hard. He probably went like. Roll it up, Mr. Phony. It's it's between it's between Trev, Josh, and Beast Cub. Thank you, my boy. But AD literally wears a jumpsuit like that every day. No, he just put a fucking mask on. <laughs> bro, I became an actual meme last year for Buzz. I mean, for Cubs like that. That was bro. funny. Does anybody recognize this man right here? If I were to make a guess... If Ellen DeGeneres dressed up as Adam-22... <laughs> <laughs> Why Ellen DeGeneres? Yeah, I don't get it either, but I like it. All right, shout out to Trev. He went Yo, Trev went hard. fucking crazy. No, shout out to Yuri for letting me uh, borrow his fucking costume because I didn't have one. At least we made a good first impression when we started up the cameras there. Yeah, I had to take it off, though. I was, it was a little too hot. Well, speaking of taking off, you might always want to... 
take some time off <laughs> with my bookie with com. my bookies <laughs> NBA <laughs> lock of the season <laughs> season bro you're fucking hilarious. what is a lock you might be wondering a lock a lock is simply put a bet that you can't lose and with my bookie you can't lose with the NBA lock of the season when you bet on either team to score between the Dallas Mavericks or the Denver Nuggets, this Friday you win. An NBA game has never gone scoreless, so you know That's this a is a sure bet. Imagine an NBA game where there's scoreless? no points scored. That would be crazy. All four quarters? Place your bet. They score, you win. It's that easy. Get paid Friday, wake up Saturday, and throw down on UFC 267, which I will definitely be watching and probably gambling on with my bookie. This weekend, my bookie is also giving users a $100 risk free wager on the light heavyweight, ch heavyweight championship fight between Jan Blakovic and Glover Texiera. So don't wait. Probably pronounced some of those wrong. So don't wait. Head to mybookie.ag, mybookie.ag now and use my promo code, no jumper, all one word, and get in on the NBA lock of the season. That's promo code, no jumper. It's a lock. So do that. Bet anything, anytime, anywhere with my freaking bookie.ag. And let the record show the house one's very, very proud of his shoes. Oh, sorry. I was just, I was getting my little fit off while you were doing that. Flex like some of the haters. They probably weren't showing you, but hey. It's all good. It's all good. We were showing it to Josh. <laughs> he was lit. Oh, but yeah. Shout out my boy Josh, man. How was everybody's weekend? What, what do we have to dig into here? Uh, you don't remember yours? No, nah, I just, I've been chilling. I've been like just at the crib. I've been on my in-home in nurse swag, you feel me? Oh, okay. So How's been, everything going in that regard? Uh, it's all right, you know? Ups and downs? Ups and downs. It's like it's like a roller coaster, you know? Oh, but okay. Roller coasters are fun, though. Some? Most of them. I hate that shit. Why? Roller coasters? Ugh, my neck hurts. My back hurts. <laughs> Get me the fuck off you of this You sound like thing. Kaya. Who? My neck. My back. <laughs> What's the next? I ain't seen it. Lick my. <laughs> <laughs> AD in a beast mask telling me to lick his pussy and or crack. That nope. would be something. Beast cuz is not approved. Beast cuz doesn't approve. Beast cuz is not with the bestiality. Mm -mm. Well, for the record, you can't be cuz light here because there's already a rapper named oh, Cuz I wish you were cut. That's my homeboy. Well, then why why spell, are you out here jacking his swag? He's a, his is spelled C U Z. Mine's is C U H. It could be um, two of us in the ecosystem. Cut light here. I don't know if there can be. I'm going to have a talk with Disney about this. Fuck up. You Thanks. better not be Crip Jesus next yet, either. We gotta, you got to interview him. Tap in with him. You should tap in with yeah, him. Yeah, tap in with him. That's your bro. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It might be a little early for the interview. Hmm. You can pull up. XD on me, a nigga should have been on Disney. What's that? That's hard. Shout out my nigga Hamwop. Shout out to my boy. That um, was a bar right there. No, I don't either. get it. Explain it. They well, have a channel, when Disney When you were XD. watching Disney cartoons, <laughs> Mickey Mouse was in black and white. <laughs> and when we were watching the cartoons, they had something called Disney XD. That, okay, I don't, yeah. I, I, yeah. I mean, I he don't get, get it, he don't get it. And, no. a, and the XD is like a gun. So he said, XD on me, a nigga should have been on Disney. That's what I said, I was a boy. Since when is a gun an XD? It's like a Glock XD, It's right? a Glock. I never even heard that's of what, that. That's what Josh um, got. Somebody uh, here legend. has one. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, thanks for saying his fucking name. I didn't mean to, my bad. <laughs> you guys are fried. Did we even have we? topics? Did they print out topics? It was just Boosie. It was just Boosie. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's like the only topic we need. We could talk about that for like an hour, honestly. We could talk about Boosie for the rest of our lives. Maybe we'll like hold out on that. Mm. If we were like H3H3 H3 style podcast, then we would have like... I've never seen that. A, what a, the I fuck is that? that? Jesus Christ. You're I know who they are, but... I, Sooner or later, we're going to tell him what H3H3 H3 is. Can you take the mask off? Ethan no. Klein? I find it kind of distracting. Come on. Nigga, you, you find that distracting? Look at you. But you see in my actual face, it just has paint on it. I'm him, looking at you, nigga. You're not talking into the mic. There it is. <laughs> 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 All right. Hey, if you feel comfortable and, and you're devoted... Is it hot inside there? I no, know you good. have to be... Nigga, I just took this off because it was hot. I know but you're you wearing a You bonnet. do drugs. <laughs> you always hot. <laughs> Doesn't even look at him when he says that, bro. I'm scared he's to like even look at the other way. Here. I'm like, my he's like, you bro. do. <laughs> my bad, but you know the best thing about my costume is that there was an episode of The Office where the three different people, Creed, Creed the Joker, Creed, Kevin, and Dwight, all Dress wore up as the Joker? same costume, and here I am. I have the exact same costume. I don't like the shirt underneath. You don't because that is the worst part of the costume because this is just a random shirt out of yeah. my closet. You, you should have went with something a little more color coordinated with the rest of the fit. Well, because yeah, the uh, 
the shirt that he actually wears in the movie is way different than this. Is does it's your, green, isn't it? Yeah. Does your uh, <laughs> uh, does your tie say slat on it? I thought it says slat. It says ha ha. <laughs> that would have been hard if it says. I would not do that. Although I have just recently watched the uh, Trap Lord Ross video oh about the wife and Lucy Young Thug beef, which I really had no idea about. This nigga be making movies, literally. I gotta, get, movie. I gotta get on him now. Pause. Pause. Super pause. No, bro. I've been, get... watch, I've been watching Swamp Stories a lot. Yeah, Swamp, Swamp Stories went crazy. Yeah. You were on there. I know. That's why he's watching it. No. He's trying to see if he's on there any more times. Yeah, we sent we sent yeah, the yeah, for, for, for uh, Sacramento beef. That, that, was, that was the fir- <laughs> that was the first time. That's the first time we sent the link. <laughs> hey, maybe I'll be in there. <laughs> That's the first time we ever sent the link, and he immediately was like, "Oh, I watched it." I know, and, and, but no, you just said, "LOL, LOL, I'm dying at AD in the swamp stories." Like you didn't even explain. So yeah. I, I immediately, as soon as I got home, I watched it because I was like, "I gotta see what AD is in this." Because, but the best thing, I love it because. It's one thing for you to no longer be AD from Compton Crip. Now you're AD from No Jumper. Mm. That's kind of funny. I like it. But then for you to not even be AD from No Jumper, you are AD, the guy who thinks it's chill to pay for pussy. Yeah, that was crazy. What else, what else did he say? That was a crazy-ass intro. He also he said you have some hard music. Thank you. That's a fact. You, Sometimes see, I think they forget a, about that. That's what, I, that's what I like about Swamp Stories. He will say some disrespectful shit, and he'll be like, but he's the fucking king of this. Yeah, right. Wait, like, wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Hmm. That was a disrespect. Hold, hold, hold up. Let me roll the intro. He says dun, that in dun, every dun, one, dun, yeah. Dun, 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 and then dun, it's... He did the mash. He did the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. He really sucks with this programming. <laughs> that was me. Wait, speaking of stuff that sucks, I don't need to address this right now. The music that y'all use during the news is crazy. I was just saying, we need some new beats. We like, got music? Yeah. <laughs> Probably like eighty percent of the people watching this make beats, and they probably go uh, like the we swamp need, stories. We one need is, some royalty free beats, y'all. Please yeah. send them through. I'll literally, I'll literally go through my email and find y'all. You a, find one. us a beat. We will give them money. I got you, Frill. We're just lazy, and we haven't changed the beat up in like a year. And it's not even like a hard. I don't want to disrespect the person who made it, but it's. I, I don't think it's standing the test of time. You know what I don't understand? How like Bob and Lamb gets away with like he just uses like whatever. If he's talking about Trippy Red, he'll use the Trippy Red instrumental. If he's talking about Playboy Cardi, he probably get a whitelisted. Probably he, white privilege. You know, you know what it is too. It's probably just like a remake of the beat anyway. That's what I'm assuming. You know? Yeah. What if he's just like leasing these beats from like the producer? <laughs> sound he's, click. He's so tapped in that he's whitelisted by every major label. Mm. They all want to be done with the bobble land. Oh, whitelist is like good, and then blacklist is bad. Yeah. Whitelist means you can use Why would the whitelist got to be good? I didn't make the rules. Mm. I didn't create this. It sounded like you created it. Nope. Why do you keep pushing your car key? It's not my car key. (laughs) (laughs) Bro, Bro, if you didn't didn't tell me, like, you had a smoke machine, I'd really run out of here right now. I swear. It looks crazy in this fucking helmet. I want to wear these fucking glasses. Oh, do you have a hater? Hi, hater. Remember is, that song is, by Mano? Yes. Is there a hater that you're trying to block out right now? You look like Jeezy. He looks like Kanye. I am Kanye. We used to always say you look like Kanye back in nah, the day. Nah, 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 don't kill me. It's only going to make me stronger. They told me that the, the, the smoke machine is like a regenerating vape pen. Yeah, what? I think he's going. Because I, I thought you should just be able to fill it with water. Hey, and these shits is HD. Like, I could like see clearer. Let me be the judge of that. Nigga, how you going to put this on through the... <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> that's kind of hard. Hey, kids, say no to drugs. <laughs> yeah, say, hey, kids, say no to drugs. <laughs> say no to gangbangers. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about that last night when I was watching this fucking video that the professor did where he went to a prison in Nebraska and played basketball with all the fucking inmates. And, oh, uh, he's probably crossing niggas up. Oh, he was destroying them. It was hilarious. And uh, they're all dying laughing. They all seem like they're having the time of their life. That's hard. You got black dudes, white dudes, Mexican dudes. They're all together. They're not They're not mad at each other. It was beautiful. Well, and it's then, Nebraska. And dude. then I was thinking, I'm like, this would be so great. Maybe maybe me and AD could do this. And then I was like, oh, wait, they would never let AD do that because he's an active gang member. Why do you have to say he's something not- like that? <laughs> he is a... Jesus Christ. He is an upstanding... <laughs> I'm an upstanding citizen. Beast Cuz is a persona. They wouldn't let... I don't think the beast cause the, pos- the beast costume is the problem. They wouldn't let a lot of people in there, realistically. You know? How do you know that? They could be a motivational speaker. They probably wouldn't even let me in there because they're gonna be like, oh, somebody's gonna stab you because you hang out with this guy. 
No, they're gonna no. say you moving meth in there. <laughs> you look more crazy than I do. I'm not if gonna you, show up looking like this. Yeah, if, you walk, <laughs> if you walked in looking like this, this is just today. I don't think they do start to think I'm gonna come in like every day like I'm this. I'm here no. to speak to the inmates. That's not, <laughs> nigga. We're like a week. We're a week early. You know, fucking Halloween is on the thirtieth, right? I know. What's going? So thirty first. Thirty first. Wait, Sunday. So then, but then should we dress uh, up again on Tuesday? Because my makeup artist is down. I think we have to I'm dress up one more again. time. You didn't do anything. Just take the helmet off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have so many ideas, though. I was asking her. I'm like, what goes with me having blonde hair? Like, what else? I sent you. You with Pete Davidson. Pete Davidson. I don't want to be him. If you need Grabba, let me know. I got something in my car. We got hella Graba, bro. Oh, yeah. No, I stole it from here, too. We got mounds of Graba. We got mounds of Graba and mounds of 2020 pre-rolls. You been I mean, eating them? I've been, no, no. no I've, I've just been smoking the pre-rolls, getting high bro, as shit. If you want to stay in the crib and chill, you got to have this. Yeah, I know. It's huh? like a nice, warm, fuzzy blanket around you. I like AC. I don't like being warm. You do? Yeah, I like being cold. Oh, I like the AC, too. You feel me? Even when I'm driving, I keep the air oh, on my 65. Mama. Bro, bitches hopping on the whip. feels very like passionate that. about it. I like this. Bro, bitches hopping on the whip. I'm like, oh my God, do you have a jacket? Like, they be yeah, cold like, as fuck like immediately. That. Why do you keep it so cold? Because, nigga, I be sweating. I'm hot. I don't be sweating. I just how I roll. I just, just be like hot. That's cold. LA style. Yeah. It's always hot. Ever since I came back from Pensacola, I ain't been the same. It's 80 degrees outside, but it's 69 in my coop. Whatever Dom Kennedy said, something like that. The thing that sucks about Pensacola is we went there and didn't realize now that I'm back, I've been alerted. To a video on Trap Geek that mm. has like four million views about some crazy ass rapper the from TK Pensacola, TK copy, copycat, who killed someone or something, and they and did the race. I think he still has to go on trial. But if we had known about that when we were in Pensacola, we could have hit the Cordova Mall with him. I think he, I think he doesn't want to be seen with gang beasts. I think he just might be incarcerated already. No, he's out. He's at home. He's waiting he's trial or some shit. I think he did the race. He did the race and then he came back and then they let him out on bail. They let him out on bail He's after home. doing the race. I believe. I don't know if I. I don't know if you are tapped into the story. I know it does sound crazy, but I'm pretty sure he's not locked up. What race is he? Black. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? What do you mean? <laughs> it's Pensacola. If he was white, you he's don't like think us. Oh, he's like it's a murder. What do you think? Of course. If he's he black. looked like Jack Harlow, you don't think we would have pointed that out to start the story? Uh, no. Who, 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 when when is, is Trap Geek How ever many made black a video people of, live in Pensacola? A lot. Probably a lot, yeah. From it's, my time spent at the mall. I've seen the ladies that work in the goddamn hotel. Are you going to admit that you had sex with them? Whoa. Stop it. All of them? <laughs> First of all, there were two women, and she looked like four. Oh, my oh. God. How do you know that they didn't become big fans and that they're not watching right now? It's a joke. I don't know, man. Sounds like you're fat shaming. No. Bro, every t like. <laughs> It's like it's like his IQ dropped when he put that mask on. <laughs> no, <laughs> like he just doesn't feel the need to elaborate, bro. I've been I've been to the same hospital like three times in the last two weeks, right? And the security guard, <laughs> shout out to him, he's cool as hell, but he keeps like talking to me like about no jumper stuff, and I'm like, bro, <laughs> like I'm kind of like busy right now. Yeah, bro. I was like, bro, Kanye, I know his past busier than I was, but can I please no, give me these flowers? <laughs> you should have said that. <laughs> <laughs> I swear like, to God. Bitch, can you sign some t-shirts? He's like, don't you know that we hurt? <laughs> oh God, bro. <laughs> Damn. Now he's like asking me about T-Rail and Sharp or some shit. Like, yo, are they really beefing? I'm like, nigga, I wasn't even there, bro. Wow. I wasn't even there that episode. The fact that people could be like invested in the sort of like interconnected little personal dramas no. between the crew is so crazy to bro, me. Bro, I don't be thinking about that shit until shit like that happens. And I'm like, damn, bro. Like these motherfuckers really care about everything yeah. that's going on. Like, they do, Shout bro. out to him, bro. You shout think out. Sharp is going to be able to fit in with our current goon squad in the long run? That's the question. Because he's, he's, he's from a completely different world. I think it, it seems like it's going well so far, but. I feel like we need a pimp on the, on I like the, him. On the team to keep, keep. Alleged pimp. Alleged <laughs> former pimp. We need somebody to keep these bitches in line. <laughs> what bitches? <laughs> Yuri. What, <laughs> whatever, whatever bitches that just make their way through. I hope you're not talking about our female staff. No. Oh, okay. Misogyny. Oh my God, I don't no. want Sharp having anything to do with them. Misogyny. <laughs> yeah, we got to keep Sharp away from Laura. Oh, my God. <sighs> I don't want to be easily offended. Huh? She, they do talk. She's the one booking all this stuff. Shout out to Laura. She she be holding it down. I did. Laura's my favorite at No Jumper. Really? Laura got to yep. stop leaving me out the thumbnails, though. Throw me in the, in the Kelly K thumbnails. Stop playing. I know. I told her. That was a great interview, honestly. You had a good time with that? 
I have never seen such a positive reaction to the women to us interviewing a random girl yes never i, I never agree. never normally seen it. it just isn't like, no, like who the fuck is this adam you're losing it she had good energy though and great good energy and a good ass i thought like you were really gonna like go across the table and you thought i, I can't do that we're gonna get kicked he off he licked the truly offer i know that but i thought like yeah she, she did was, she was like come on but that was supposed to be for patreon hey I mean, I wasn't, oh, so it's not Patreon at all. I wasn't finna just lick her coochie on the on the camera. <laughs> That's hot. I thought you would. It was. I love how it's a turn the whole way to see him. <laughs> I can't see the nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that uh, that was supposed to be for Patreon only. But then it was it so entertaining, so good. that we just had to put it on YouTube. And then the censored version is on, or the uncensored version is on Patreon only fans. But I, for the record, I have now had sex with her, so wow. that was cool. We did some content the God other day. Damn it. Had a good time. Beat me to it. You could still do it. Did she have a hemorrhoid? Do I want still? to still do it? You know, I thought about that afterwards that I didn't even do a hemorrhoid check. Mm. I'm like rubbing her ass and stuff, but I didn't look for the hemorrhoid. You should apply some cream for her. Help her out. Oh, I should have brought that up. I ma'am, her, ma'am, I, do you mind if I do you need any help? I told her I would <laughs> put some of the hemorrhoid cream on my tongue and then would you really proceed do that? to uh, apply it. You a sick fuck. I don't think it's going to be like... <laughs> as fun as you probably think it is because really Why? hemorrhoid cream is just going to taste like hemorrhoid cream oh i thought you meant just having sex with her wasn't going to be that fun oh no that would probably be fun but yeah, yeah i, I mean know. we mean probably you already did it yeah. give, give us a, re- a review it was cool <laughs> we had a good time did you what? use a condom this time no finally i mean what you mean you did with kazumi <laughs> yeah she made me <laughs> <laughs> bro that was the funniest shit ever i don't know why just her making me wear a condom uh-huh it's just because she fucks 50 homeless niggas with no condom and then she that wasn't her work. i'm like for oh, the purpose right. of this story i'm gonna keep saying that it was her um i've seen the pictures of it was a lot of men for the record what you mean seeing what picture she had like polaroids of her of like, her and the homeless niggas no, no. it was like at the gangbang, uh, there's like 15 like oh that's even white crazy. guys all naked and there's like three I girls thought she on the said bed. She, never fucked a white she guy. did not do a white guy gangbang. Not my cousin. They're not white. They like something else. She said she never <laughs> fucked a white guy. <laughs> I'm just staring back at me. They not white. They something else. <laughs> back she at said me. she never fucked a white guy before. I believe her. Until me. No, she said that I was the first one mm. since she got her new body. Dude, oh, okay. Oh, so yeah, like the she was the body white. count. The body count restarts. And you know the crazy shit is that I know her her government now, and it's not Kazumi. You you would never guess her name it's in like, a million billion years. It's like Ashley, Casanova, George. I will tell you guys after the show. It's like Ashley or something. No, normal. It will blow your mind. Why would why would her name blow my mind? Because it's not a name you've ever heard a woman named. It's certainly Bob. not a name that you've ever heard an Asian woman named. Her name is like Daryl. Carl Lewis. It's, uh, that's the first and last name. <laughs> My least favorite thing about this makeup is that I have to take a shower when I get home. Nigga, you got three days. You know your routine. Yeah, yeah. No, you know. no, no. <laughs> yeah, you know. You're not so <laughs> bummed like you about to. <laughs> boy, you about to. <laughs> you know, you're going to work out with that motherfucker. <laughs> no. <laughs> got to get the paint off right away. You know you yeah. got to smash with it on. Yeah, you definitely got to go, go shoot you a scene. You have to, bro. You got to go shoot a scene, poor man. Beast Cuz is getting something tonight. He is. Yeah. Wow. Tell us more. <laughs> <laughs> Does your dick look like that right now, too? You huh? Pause. Did you put on a furry cock ring? <laughs> Yo. Pause. This your homie? I can't even see you. That's, <laughs> that's AD from No Jumper. Um, that's AD from uh, from from the saying it's okay to buy pussy. <laughs> yeah, that's AD. That, this is him. This is the demon, the inside uh, inner monster. No, can I tell you guys something? The horny beast. Mybookies.com. No, that would be cool, but... <laughs> Can I tell you guys something? Hmm. Don DeMarco. Last night, I did anal. Wait, you it got fucked? like a year or something. You got fucked in ass? Did you get pegged? Or, or what are we clapping for? I hate y'all. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you it, just like last night, I did anal. It had been probably like a year and a half. Since you got pegged? Since... For the record, I am a heterosexual male. I was the one performing the anal upon my fiance. Are you ah. cisgendered? Yes. Yes. So you're like little boosty, He's just basically. Acting like he knows what that means. Josh taught me. <laughs> you wouldn't have to ask if you know what it meant. <laughs> so how was that? Exploring your wife's butthole, bro. There's something about anal. It had just been so long that I forgot how glorious it is. Hey, you know what's crazy? What? 
I'm fucking this bitch and spreading them ass cheeks that booty hole pink. What is that again? Sa, a sa baby. You song. always say that. Wait, mm-hmm. why is that so? Why is did it, that stick with you above so many other lyrics? And your ex girlfriend, you got in the caption. <laughs> Yo, relax, relax, <laughs> relax, relax. Uh, it's just, it's like just an artistic expression that just meets the level of like Basquiat, uh, fucking Mona Lisa, Mona Lisa, R. Kelly. It's like nah, the Da Vinci. Sick. It's like the. It's like cracking the, the Da Vinci Code when I first heard. It's like that cracking movie. into an asshole. I don't know. You guys aren't anal gang. Nah, you don't fuck with it. Uh uh-uh. uh I've you, only fucked like two girls in the ass my whole life. You didn't love it. I mean, the. The the one time where I was fucking this girl in the ass constantly, but it's because <laughs> to find constantly, like on a like regular basis. Oh, okay, it was because she was just like her period was hella out of whack, so she would be on it for like weeks at a time, like maybe even like a month. She would be on her period every that day. Bitch, that bitch bleeding too much. She's about dead. Yeah, nah, for real. She had like some like iron problem. I don't know. Maybe it was the birth control or something. But do I had, know this person? Um, when you had the store on Melrose, it was this girl that I used to date that lived literally a block away from the old store. It wasn't the one who was uh, rolling the blunt on the carpet. No, fuck no. Oh, okay. I never, never touched that asshole. I always been wondering what with was my finger. I, I touched my, I touched her asshole with my, with my finger. But did not, you really? Not with my dick, yeah. I don't even remember what she looks like, but that's hot. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So this girl that I used to date, she loved that shit when she was on her period. She would have me fucking her ass all the time. And you liked it? Yeah, it was cool. I just liked her, so like just fucking her in any type of way, it was fire. Getting to know her butt. I was getting to know her whole body at that point. My girl was losing it off the booty sex last night, man. <laughs> Let me tell you. I had my dick in her in her ear one time. What? <laughs> <laughs> how big is your dick or how big is her ear? <laughs> she had a pretty she had a pretty big ear. <laughs> Does she have gauges? <laughs> you know you want to fuck that. No, you just like you know, you know you think about that every time you look at Phil. You just like tap it in the oh ear, you know. Oh my god. Just tap slap it in her ear one time. You know what I would do? I would lube up the crevice of her arm right here, <laughs> put my dick in there and just have it have her fold it up like that. And you you just, a sick you just fuck the arm. That's your fetish. Chalupa. Or or behind the behind the leg? Ah. Oh. That's my spot. I always found it pretty fascinating that there's people who fuck cars. That that's a whole fetish. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> we gotta get one of them on the Patreon. So you gonna pull like a '96 BMW in this motherfucker and just lube it up and have a nigga go to town? We can pull their car in right over here, and I mean, if they if they have a rental car, or I mean, real, it's like I would let them fuck my car if we fucking... need a Josh can no, for like can't when Josh... fuck my car. <laughs> you wouldn't let somebody fuck your gas your gas <laughs> nah. hole. My car is white. He doesn't consent. Oh. Hey, yeah, listen, asked him. listen, Mm-mm. we need a Josh cam because this nigga Josh be making the funniest facial expressions when we be saying shit. And you're just locked eyes with yeah, him just I'm just, staring yeah, at him. I'm just laughing. Like Josh this always trying to tell me shit and I don't even know what the fuck he be saying. He'll try to silently tell you something from across the room and I'm like, huh? Uh, Beast Cuz doesn't listen. He's like. You feel funny, house phone. That is a weird thing when you're on the podcast and somebody's trying to tell you something like, and huh? they don't understand that you can't read <laughs> lips and that you don't know what the fuck they're talking about. You have headphones on, et cetera. Yeah. yeah. That's always a weird experience. I feel like Arthur right now. Why? That nigga didn't have no ears either. Nigga, you got ears. I do. Wait, do you? The well, like horns, ain't they? Yep. <laughs> horns aren't ears. Wait, yeah. Why do you got... Oh, because you're a beast, nigga. I thought you was a lion But you remember time. Arthur? They canceled my nigga, but <laughs> <You're> that nigga <laughs> used to have headphones on. He used to the put mouth his glasses on, on this shit with no that. shit. Oh, yeah. And I say, hey. God damn it. <laughs> I could see you rocking a belt around your forehead. <laughs> well, like on some like uh, Slim Jimmy shit. Quill man? Yeah. <laughs> Slim, Slim Jimmy had uh, two iced out Rolexes and made it into a headband. That's really? Funny. Did he really? He's a psycho. That's stupid. Stupid heart. <laughs> <laughs> stupid young. I bought a bunch of clothes this weekend. How was that? Why? You were serious about the Nordstrom's thing? I tore up Nordstrom's. Like like Rafi the Plug said, we shopping at Rodeo Drive while your nigga at the Nordstrom rack. I wasn't at Nordstrom rack. I was at Nordstrom's <laughs> <laughs> at the Galleria. Wait, what, which what, gallery? What, what, what did you grab? Glendale Gallery. Oh. Glendale Gallery. What's the other gallery? I was at the South Bay Gallery earlier today. Gay? What? For what? I know, right? Why you go there? Because <laughs> my mom requested some Red Robin. That's like the only Red Robin. No, nah, they, they got... This <laughs> is the only they, Red Robin. They, they like have a, one at the Topanga Mall, too. That's hella far. Y'all really be going out of your way to fucking hit Red Robin? <laughs> no, but my mom... Red Robin to. is good. I can take you to Topanga. Red Robin. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't he saying he had never even had rallies the other day? I believe There's a it. lot of niggas that haven't had rallies. There's checkers before, where though. he's from. 
Man, yeah, in Russia. And I'm saying where where we're where we are at out here in LA, there's a lot of fucking so rallies. I just had a hard time believing he'd never been to one. Rallies well, have like, the best fries, but I, no, I can that's see, a Fendi. I can I can see Yuri not having rallies. Yeah, because there ain't no rallies in like fucking You have a better chance Hollywood. getting in and out than rallies now. Yeah. You gotta think about it. Yuri's from like Hollywood. Ain't no rallies in Hollywood. And let's be real, like if you were to list off the burger chains in LA, rallies is gonna be like eighteen. Yeah. Yeah. Which is pretty crazy when you think about how simple a burger is. Yeah, and it's like you feel like you can't mess it up, but then it's like there's a lot of places that their burgers are disgusting. Yeah. Like Cougar Burger. Sh- hey. Hey. Don't you dare disrespect a landmark of Hawthorne. <laughs> how dare you? He has no idea what we're talking about. I know. No, I haven't been there. I'll hit up Tommy's though. Tommy's it's a good depends time. on which one. Yeah, I was gonna say it really Fabulous depends. Burger and Hawthorne. Fabulous <laughs> Burger. You might catch a slug in the neck, but yeah. It's lit. I was in Long Beach on PCH at the Tommy's. Thank the hood. What? What? PCH? A guy yeah. tried to get me to join a white supremacist gang. Dude. Yeah, that's your type of gang. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. Adam, you be recording with y'all niggas. It was scary. Hey, don't play it, man. PCH will it'll start off nice, but it'll definitely lead you oh, to yeah. the dangerous definitely area. Sections. For the most part, it's kind of grimy though. I think yeah. I'm talking about PCP. No, it's different. <laughs> Pacific Coast Highway. I know PCH is. You been to PCH? Yeah, I used to go to Harvard College. I used to go. Oh uh, my God, me too. But I didn't really go there though. No, like right? I just pulled up. I used to go look for, for women and shit. I swear to God, me too. <laughs> you go to a random college and look for women? I mean, I, I, I didn't want to go to college, but I was like, there's bitches in college, so I yeah. might as well go. I signed up and then I literally just went to like get financial aid. I didn't even get that because I didn't never sign up for any of the classes. I didn't buy any books. You just yeah. walk around to the college. I mean, like I went, had like some meetings with the guidance counselors and shit. Like I never, I didn't graduate high school, so they were putting me in a program where I got my. You didn't graduate Cougar Cougar School. No. You didn't graduate high school. Wow, no, I didn't never. Know about you. What I, an idiot! You kick him off the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get your GED before you can host on the show. Nah. So what? What happened was like, nigga, I was bad as fuck, getting kicked out of every school or whatever. By the time I made it to like the last school, I was on probation for like armed robbery and all this other shit, right? So they were like, you either I was Who about to use the steel. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah. Who'd you, listen, you pull the blame me out? Listen, on? listen. I, I was on some crazy shit back then. But look, you was in the um, just listen, just listen. Go listen. Ahead. So they're like, they're like, uh, you either need to be in school or you need to um or like have a job or some shit. And I was getting kicked out of the last school I was at. So I just started working at Jama Juice. Boom. Changed your life. I just never, never had to finish school because I we just started getting a job. You were selling Coke out the Jamba Juice? No, not yet. I do remember selling like 100 Zans at Paxson one time, though. Wow. And then uh, the girl came to get them, and I, I went to go get some shoes from the back so she could try them on, but really I just put the Zans in there. That's amazing. Yeah. Pacific Sun Trapping. I spent like $3,000 on clothes at the mall. Nigga, what did you buy? A lot of flannels, a pair of blue jeans. <laughs> what kind of blue jeans? Some sweaters. What kind of blue jeans? Are oh, they expensive? That's a good question. I just bought some sweaters, too. You did? I need some sweaters. Can somebody send me some sweaters? I bought some Essentials, and I bought some Palm Angels. Mm. You got to get on the needles, my boy. That's no, I don't want need. no needles shared with you. Why are you always trying to shake his hand? You're never shaking mine. <laughs> oh, go ahead. This <laughs> thing. Good day, sir. <laughs> yeah, bro, I got to teach you the nigga shake, man. Come on, Yeah, bro. you got to like... I you don't know if I want to know that. No, I'm just saying. The black <laughs> shake. Hold on. I can't see. Look. Go like this. Look, yeah. no, like that, right? Wait, wait, bro. Then you, yeah, you slide it and you yeah, go you like that. Slide it, yeah. So look, 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 like that. Look. There you go. Easy. And you snap there you go. Easy. Felt Easy. weird. <laughs> look, look, you felt like I was doing something I wasn't supposed to do. Sure. You, you clap, slide it up, bow. How is that the black guy shake? You guys all decided on one thing. <laughs> yeah. We had a big meeting. That's the only in. thing. You ain't never seen like the Key and Peele meme. You know what I'm saying? It's like the famous one. They say Drake just did it too. No. You see black people, you see him, you be like, hey, what's up? Oh, how you doing? Hello, you see the white guy, you be like, hey, hello, sir. Mm. You don't want to shake my hand now, you feel me? Mm. Sometimes I don't know what to do. Sometimes I can't tell. Am I white guy shaking or black guy shaking? And then you never know, because then, like, if you see the Hispanic homie, you got to hit him with the fast, like, what's up, doc? Yeah, I'm like this. What's, what's up, up, fool? Yep. And I'm from the East Coast where we do the little. What is that? Where you like, when, when you. Shake hands. You basically like hit a pound, and then as you exit, you you do like a finger snap. As you like finger each other. You really no. You really have <laughs> Brown Town. You really you don't. Walked. That's not Has Brown Town. That's New York and shit. Like you, you uh, don't think that's normal? Like when you, yeah. to you like kind of snap your fingers off. To be fair, I haven't really spent much time on the East Coast in like fifteen years, so I don't really know. Maybe that's not might have changed. You got to got to tap in with K Flock and see what's the new 
What's the new? Uh, I guarantee handshake. that they've came up with their own handshakes <laughs> that are cooler than the Hash Brown Town wave that I was on. <laughs> did you see our vlog from the K Flock show? I did. Shout out to Black Dave. Pretty man. lit, right? Black Dave is a fucking New York legend, man. Yes, he was out there. Uh, uh, he looked a little nervous. I would have been nervous too. But what's up with these like New York shows where it's just a super high up balcony and then the audience is way down below? It's because I feel like they not they can't get booked for like real venues because the real venues are like we're not taking this liability on right now. Yeah. All these niggas beefing and shit. But I've just seen so many shows in New York over the years where it's like the club basically just has this like section up top where the motherfuckers are performing at and stuff. And it seems kinda good because it makes it so that like the audience can't just like fight the rappers. But then <laughs> I feel like usually it ends up with like the rappers like hurling projectiles at people in the audience that they mm. have problems with if some shit does pop off. Or like somebody like throwing a fucking ice bucket up at a rapper on the balcony. Yeah. I think that's like some club shit though. That's not really like a venue performance thing, I feel like. A dude like me, I hop down and start daggering with the nearest female. <laughs> oh my God. No? I would love to see your dagger game. Pause. It's crazy, bro. Super pause, actually. Go right now. Go. <laughs> Stop. Dagger. Please. Dagger. Oh. <laughs> Why so serious? <laughs> this nigga crazy. You always make me do that. <laughs> oh, was that the Joker for real? No, the funny shit yesterday is huh. doing the Patreon. I kept doing the beat. We were making songs and shit while they were stripping. The girl starts fisting her own asshole, and AD's just. You should have. You should have made it beat on her booty while she was fisting in her, her butthole. You should have put your phone in her asshole okay, and then make it beat. I need to know what we can do next time because if I could have just you could do anything, ate some You're coochie. Going to the if I could have just ate some coochie, I would have did it. I didn't know. Me and I him, she was gonna hold it down, bro. Bro, me and him, was, you, you ain't eating coochie in there. You don't I mean, do anything. No. The girls are hitting on him, shit. He's refusing. I like that, King. Respect yourself. Black man don't cheat. Honestly. Allegedly. <laughs> no, but which ones did we have yesterday? I'm trying to remember. There was the girl, who was, girl. The girl who was as tall as me who fisted her asshole. She's mm -hmm. as tall as you? 6'2". Really? I'm 6'3". She's 6'2". The one Hot. that came with her homeboy that wants to do content with Sharp. Oh, yeah, that girl. She wants to fuck Sharp? No, her... Her, her boyfriend wants to fuck Her manager... Sharp? Wants her to fuck Sharp. Wants the smoke with Sharp. Wants oh, wants the smoke. He wants to come in and do an episode where he goes to war with Sharp. He said he from the new game and Sharp don't like the new game. He's a mm. sneaker pimp. Sneaker pimp? Yeah, that's, that's what they what call said. it, I guess. What does that mean? Like he's know. getting sneakers out the New beach? generation of pimps that do shit differently than the old generation? I don't really get it, but I mean, that's the new, the new designation, apparently. That's like Kelly was trying to offer me some sneakers for some dick, and I'm like, maybe that's what she means. Mm. Sneaker pimping. Fair right. That's when you, yeah, you just get some sneakers out of bitch to, to fuck her. But you know what was like the really. That sounds like a fair trade to me. This was the miserable part about fucking Kelly. There, there was no miserable part. There was a miserable part. You couldn't fuck her asshole because it was hemorrhaged. I didn't go for the hemorrhoid. Um, but that's interesting that hemorrhoid and hemorrhage start with the same letters. I wonder yeah. if that's the root word. It, I think it is. <laughs> anyway. We hook up. We did blowjob scene first. Ugh. Then we like did some shit for like 45 minutes, an hour. kiss her now. Then we have sex. So we filmed that right after. Then my Postmates is here, right? So okay. I go outside to eat my Postmates. It's like a big bowl of like, you know. Clam chowder. Mexican stuff, beans, hash, rice. Hash brown town. Hash browns, meat, okay. cheese. You eat it? No. Well, yeah, but I didn't have a fork. So you just ate it like, I don't know. I ate it with my bare hands. You're a fucking psychopath. Did Weren't you, you at your house? house? We were at the other house that apparently doesn't have any <laughs> forks or... You have other well, houses. Water. Just go crazy. You got a couple houses now. Yeah. Damn. This oh, because you don't her house. Because you don't want to fuck girls like where you actually live. You know, shit where you, you eat. You know? Ooh, that's a bar. You that's could, what I was gonna say. You and could, fucking is shitting. I was gonna say you could just shit on the food that you eat. I could shit on the women that I have sex with. That's why I can't fuck. I, that's why I can't. Fuck Are you after grossed you. out? You, you grossed out by that? Yeah, I can't. Fu I can't fuck after what him. What if I smack her? You a smacker afterwards? I feel like you take showers and shit, though, yeah, you know? so you're clean. So. Would you seriously... Wait a minute. <laughs> He's so offended. So you meet a girl right now, uh huh, and you find out that AD fucked her two years ago. I wouldn't give a fuck. What? That's what I'm saying. I wouldn't even think about. a fuck. I wouldn't care if she's fucked Yeah, too, but... Yeah. but she, she fucked, fucked Adam? I'd be like... If she fucked Adam? I don't know about this one. <laughs> what, just because I have a sty? 
I didn't even see it no you more. You didn't see the sun. It just popped oh, last shit. night. Okay, now I see. Now Ugh. I see why you look fucking. Stinky, That's why man. I was wearing sunglasses, and also if you start hating them, I put on these hater blockers. <laughs> That's what I right here. Wait, that's why uh, you got this from not showering. Well, I don't know what I got it from, but I know that I. So basically, I get on the flight to Hawaii. We land. My girl says, "Look at your eye. Like, open your phone." I look at this shit. You, you didn't big, feel it. Big ass bump on my eye. Like it fucking somehow it happened like while I was on the flight, mm. and then I just fucking had to let it rock for a couple of weeks. But then also Gina's telling me. That when she was in beauty school, she picked up on hella good remedies to get rid of your sty quickly because apparently it happens to girls in beauty school all the time. It's because they don't wash their makeup brushes, so you dirty ass nigga wash your face and you won't get a fucking. Well, they're, sty. Put, they're putting Instead all this of washing paint your on their face, face with your cum rag. <laughs> use a clean rag. You definitely. He did the monster mash. The monster mash. The you cum rag mash. You definitely give me the vibe of like you wash your ass in the shower. Uh, wipe, wipe your ass with the towel and then wipe your face uh, with the same towel. I actually believe there's a very important order of operations when you get in the shower, which I, I, I go from top to bottom. I apply the shampoo, I put the soap on my face. You a goddamn lot. This is what you do. Then jump in, jump out. <laughs> I feel like I feel like you stop at the waist. Three, three seconds tops. <laughs> I'm out. You stop at the waist yeah. and just let the water just everything below my butt, belly button is gonna clean itself. <laughs> no, because you're building up a layer on, on your upper stop. body. It's gotta go somewhere, right? It's gonna go down. Hey, Boom. I literally seen Andrew Schultz and uh, Charlemagne talking about that shit. You're gonna give Linda about white people not washing their legs. You're gonna give Linda a style. Just, just just a not showering period, and it was like basically they're not as cold because the extra layer of dirt. Is on you guys' skin. That's their theory? Yep. I don't know how I feel about that. You actually believe that? Um, <laughs> I think anything's, anything's possible. I don't believe that at all. Extra it sounds layer ridiculous. It's insane. So how are you guys dealing with the uh, fallout from the Dave Chappelle special? What do you mean? How are we dealing how with it? How are we dealing with it? Were you at the protest? No. No. You know what's crazy? I just, um, on the way here, I seen another scene of Dave talking about being canceled or so. He put out a new thing mm -hmm. where he basically says that he's willing to speak to the Netflix employees, et cetera, et cetera. Now, it's interesting because Netflix has stood by him through this. They're not taking the special down. The CEO's made that perfectly clear. It's not happening. But the thing that Dave said is that, so he's working on a new film slash documentary slash whatever, and that now it's like he's untouchable by all the corporations or companies that would normally be having conversations with him about buying his documentary piece that he's been working mm -hmm. on because of all this everybody's terrified to be associated with him which is Why insane he, he should just sell it to netflix they already rocking with him that's what i was thinking that's not a bad idea but he but. said he's gonna start taking it to theaters but honestly mm -hmm. dave Chappelle has the the pull that he can drop it himself and everybody he can literally crazy. drop it himself but yeah. that's kind of the question is like can dave Chappelle? be canceled nope. you know they couldn't get rid of jk rowling but okay J dave Chappelle can't be canceled in the sense that he could still play stadiums and do giant fucking shows for the rest of his life but if all these streaming companies if hulu and amazon prime and all these companies that are normally giving out checks to comedians or, or whoever for developing content if they're all gonna slam the door in dave Chappelle's face because of how crazy this whole netflix thing has been no well then a they're a bunch of fucking pussies and B, it says a lot about the state of the world because, I mean, Netflix was rocking with him for this whole time and he had all kinds of controversial trans stuff and all the other previous specials, right? And even when he uh, told people to not watch his show, that nigga put a special on Instagram, bro. Mm. That's and had hard. everybody watch that shit. He put a special on Instagram? It was like... I How think long was it? It's like 10 minutes, I think. That's hard. Yeah. Shit sure probably got dummy views, dummy Just comments. his mouthpiece. Man, there's so much fur in this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm committed. I'm surprised you guys didn't pull up to the protest. Why? To the Dave Chappelle the Netflix protest? But, okay, so you realize what happened is that the media said that there were going to be thousands, yeah. over a thousand Netflix employees is there walking a that's cat out. Button? Is, there a that, is there a that's cat button? It looked like it was like 30. It was like 30. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was like a couple dozen, and there was a ton of other people there protesting basically on behalf of Dave Chappelle. And the media like basically wants you to believe that there's this big of an outrage against Dave Chappelle's special when in reality it's like one of the biggest, most profitable, most watched specials in the history of Netflix. But they're out here trying to make everybody think that this is really something that a lot of people are against. 
I'm going to go out on a limb and say that if you were to like poll all of America, you'd probably find like 94% support of the Dave Chappelle, Chappelle special on Netflix. I agree. Motherfuckers are just not as sensitive as you would get the idea from like the four trans people that work at Netflix who are mad about this. Yeah. I mean, like, at the end of the day, it's like you got to draw some type of line where like what's like jokes and what should be like taken seriously. And like, I don't know. The idea, but they keep equating Dave Chappelle's special with like hate speech. As if he like, as speech. if he said or did anything that implied that he hated trans people when in reality he just like questioned some a few things you know i think if anything he gave a trans person an opportunity and was saddened by one of them losing their uh, committing suicide right yeah so that shit was yeah i I really didn't watch this yeah so i mean basically what he said too when when he said when he's willing to talk to them Mm -hmm. he said he wants trans people to watch it from top to bottom before they come and talk to that's a fact i feel like that should be the case with anything. You should not try to crucify somebody without looking at all the facts of something before you just decide to jump out the tell window. Tell me about it. it. I had to deal with this shit here. What are you talking about? Mm. <laughs> I'll tell you later. Mm. Oh, you got canceled? Speak on Anybody it. canceled me. You got canceled at no jumper? Yeah, right. I'm going to blow this motherfucker up or I'm canceled. <laughs> did you get kicked out of a click? Nah, I started black no jumper. I was going to say, did you get kicked out of black no jumper? You did cause some shit. What I caused? If he come here, I'm going to set him up. Mm. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's been taking over my YouTube oh, algorithm. Oh, my God. <sighs> Do you want to speak on it? Could I speak on it? I, I brought, the, the, the thing is, is, first of all, a nigga was just talking. You feel me? Charleston White is who he's referring yeah, to. Yeah, I don't and, care. I mean, the thing is, I was just talking with a nigga. set up another I black set brother? Up Charleston White. You know, I was watching the nigga videos and shit, too, and I was like, I get the message what he what he's trying to say. His message, it's the way he's going about his it, message though. isn't wrong. It's just how the nigga. And then this was this was this. It didn't make me mad, but it was dumb because it was like, apparently, bro, you didn't do your research on me, who I am, who house phone is. Like, yeah. my nigga, they just had to play this as like little, little like yeah, nigga like, minions. I'm mm-hmm. like, bro, nigga been making money, bro, millions of views, all type of shit across the board. So it's like. You can't little boy me in house phone when it come down to that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's a Fendi. That's the crazy thing that I was kind of shocked by by his response is that he seems to like the thing that seems to baffle him is that I'm a white guy who hangs out with black guys. Yeah. Like he's like, I never heard of it. Can't believe it. Can't wrap my head around it. Yeah. Like he even said, he goes, I like racist white boys, not like Adam 22. That was like a title. But was the I was kind of like, okay. He says I'm the reason why Appreciate he doesn't it. like LA people. I was, I was laughing. You're far from the worst. <laughs> yeah, the you LA. honestly are pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> you could, if there's a whole spectrum of street affiliated people, AD is the least of your fucking problems. Like, there's, yeah. there's some real nasty guys out here. His whole point is that like, I get, I get what he's, yeah, I get what he know? said because after he was saying all this shit and everything, I'm like, look, at the end of the day, you gotta defend yourself. If yeah. a nigga say something, I, 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 of course, I want you to talk shit and do all type of shit like that, right? But I looked at what he was saying, he, bro. You can't diss niggas who are deceased, bro. Niggas got moms, niggas got families, kids, all type of shit that don't yeah. need to be on the internet and hearing no shit like that. So if you really for your people, if you really for black people, bro, you have to have another way of trying to do this shit because it seemed like you part of the problem. You antagonizing mm. more violence and Speak more beef on it, my and you saying more shit, bro. They ain't even got to happen. You know what I'm saying? So you being counterproductive when it come down to that shit. And then, too, yeah. it's like, nigga, you do research that I'm a Compton Crip, but you won't do research about me? Google me, nigga. You feel me? <laughs> I'm just saying. Just in the costume. Google me, baby. Right, yeah, beast, yeah, Google Beast Gun. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, yeah, you know, you can't you can't ignore that shit. And yeah, and this shit, too, is like, I ain't, I ain't mad when a nigga do that shit. And then, too, like, I seen what he was saying about C-Mac. He was just like... I started with him because I liked him, and he made me mad. So it's just like, bro, this shit nothing but a game and all fun and jokes for this nigga, bro. It feels like he's kind of like just saying whatever, because you yeah. know I'm watching him like talk all this shit about me and you and shit, and then I'm watching him on Vlad, and I'm just thinking like, wh- like what's the difference between Vlad and me in his mind? I think like, he thinks anything that- you can say about me, you're basically capable of saying about Vlad. But he's cool with Vlad, and he likes Vlad, so he's just gonna rock with Vlad. That's cool, but like. You realize that like your argument is not like intellectually consistent at all, and, right? And 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 my thing is is like personally, I don't know the nigga. He ain't did nothing yeah. wrong to me. But you know, Nipsey Hussle meant something to us on the West Coast. You feel me? 
I got homies that meant a lot to me. You say fuck my dead homies, you do all type of yeah, shit. Yeah, for like, no yeah. reason, bro. Like, yeah. come on. I mean, when a nigga say that he'll set you up, then is all the all the gloves is off. I ain't tripping over that shit. But if you really for black people, bro, you being real counterproductive on that shit. And my shit too is like, shit. You talking about you come here with the before? Look, the thing is, he said. He had a, a light it under the table because the AC is nah, blowing up. Oh, my, the light is fucked up. The nigga know? said when Adam offered him an interview, mind you, Adam ain't into the politics and shit. Wasn't nobody trying to set the nigga up. I just wanted to talk to him because I thought yeah. I could talk to him, but he he really thinks that we were trying to he line said, him up. He said his spirit told him don't come. Yeah. And he, he was, was gonna, getting super and deep. And he was on gonna him. come here with LAPD and, and all type of shit. So it's like, bro. He said he was gonna pull up with some sheriffs. Yeah, he's gonna pull up with some sheriffs. I'm gonna pull like up with that. the baddest motherfuckers that there is. Yeah, bro. And and, and I feel like, bro, the nigga. He, Damn, this shit tastes good as fuck. It's baby. like he tries. Pause. Thank you. The Uzumaki pack, mm-hmm. Big Chief, you know what I'm saying? Um, He's trying. It seems like he's trying to divide Texas and California, mm. and we got gang of homies in Texas. You feel what that's I'm why saying? I don't like California niggas. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> and I think it's hilarious. I'm I know the nigga gonna see this. Hey, and listen, ain't nobody gonna set you up. Come to L.A., bro. We could talk face to face and shit like that. You now you me? really gonna think you're gonna set up? <laughs> no, I'm being serious but though. You, you kind of like see how he puts his thoughts together and how he does his content and you realize why it's so easy for him to just talk for hours because he takes... Well, t- I ain't gonna let nobody talk to me crazy but, but, like he talked to other motherfuckers. He ain't gonna right. do that shit in my face. But, but he takes, I he takes little things. Like the joke I made when you said I would get him set up and I said... I'm going to interview him at the Motel 6. <laughs> I was just fucking around. And he took that but shit. But he takes that. He goes, you see how the white man going to do you? <laughs> he going to go to the Motel 6 and you ain't going to leave your ass at and home. Then, I was like, I'm just kidding, bro. He's, He's like stink meaner, honestly. And then the motherfuckers who podcast you went on, who's also black people, you over there saying, oh, yeah, this y'all niggas are talking too. Like, come on, my niggas all... Going in circles and all type of shit like that, and you feel me? And I don't claim to be the the, the craziest, bigger, but I guarantee you, I will never let nobody talk to me crazy in front of my face on this goddamn podcast. Mm. Not you, not you, not nobody in the fucking world, bro. Not anyone else in the animal kingdom. No, <laughs> no. not Bell. Maybe Mufasa. <laughs> not the candle. <laughs> not the candle. <laughs> not the pot. <laughs> nobody. <laughs> nah, but you know, like. You know, but I, but on some real shit though, I shouldn't have said I'm gonna set the nigga up because that ain't how I really feel. So it's not me. like you were really gonna do it. You're just like uh, you, you were kind of the same. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. Hey, <laughs> wait, just real quick, nigga. This shit tastes delicious, that, bro. That's that Uzumaki. We've been working on that shit for like four. I five can months. tell, nigga. This shit tastes experimental. Hey, pass beats. What, what, what does oh, Uzumaki shit. mean? It's a play off of uh, Naruto. My favorite mm. anime. Okay. All right. I thought it was like a Kazumi thing. Nah. Yeah, nigga. me too. Here. Pass B cut. Blunt. Let me see this. I'm one. totally, totally confident that your head, <laughs> your helmet is gonna go up in flames here. <laughs> you gonna get so high in there. Yeah, you about to be you hop you about to hotbox that bitch, honestly. We might as well just put somebody else on the mic. We might as well just sub him out for Yuri. I, I like his version of passing the blunt too. It just kinda hangs it out there. <laughs> <laughs> whoever knows. grabs it, nigga, whoever grabs it. Shout out to Yuri for letting me borrow his costume, honestly. That was <laughs> that was so hard. Appreciate you. Shout out to Yuri. I'm done uh, being mad at that nigga. You Why were you mad at cool? Yuri? I don't want to get into it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Josh don't like the internal talks all the time. Nah, man, we got to expose everything on we here. We just have to have a fine line between what is podcast fun and games and what is actual conversations that I don't think we ever. Place. I don't think we ever had that conversation ever. I think the Wednesday show plays <laughs> with that way more than the Tuesday show. That's a fact. Hey, T-Rail's a troll beggar. <laughs> T-Rail's on his high horse right now, man. Academics is jacking him off. Yeah. <laughs> you see him feeling himself I, on I, his I, Instagram <laughs> reel? <laughs> Motherfucker posted proud, a reel. I'm proud, I'm proud of my homeboy, man. Nah, hey, listen. I'm no, let me tell you something. This nigga, he didn't think I was good like that. Mm. And nigga told him I was good. Mm. And nigga said, you know what? I see the potential. And now nigga see t Rail's potential. And it's like, nigga, that's dope. Nigga, you got some dope niggas at No Jumper, oh, bro. God. Nah, t Rail's a beast. I fuck with him, man. We're creating an academy. Wow. People come in here. They discover their podcasting potential. <laughs> mm. Within the walls of the No Jumper Academy. <laughs> I'll give you that. You it's like the, Hogwarts. You put the battery in my back. For sure, for sure. Juice hey. it up. It's hard to tell sometimes when you're uh, trying to shake my hand or when you're just... <laughs> man, look. Do the, do the handshake I taught you. No. I'm over that. Come on, man. Let's do a white guy handshake. Okay. 
Hello, George. <laughs> <laughs> Why so serious? <laughs> the question is, is like, because that's what I'm excited about with No Jumper is like starting more consistent streams. So it's not just Tuesday and Wednesday. We have more nights, more fun, more festivities, more money. How do we make it fun? <laughs> <laughs> you can get past that one. <laughs> oh my fucking god! <laughs> Speaking of that. Uh, <laughs> you guys want to talk? Yeah, let's just have your raised conversations on air. Fuck it, let's do it. <coughs> just kidding, that would be awkward. Oh, um, <laughs> I was ready. I'm like, all right, <coughs> change it. I'm here with the demands. But I want to have more ways that we could try out more. Yeah, because there's like a lot of people, like a T-Rail type. Like there's a bunch of people in my head right now who I'd like to try out, but I don't necessarily want to like just throw them on the No Jumper show. Mm -hmm. Maybe mm. it's weird. We already have a dynamic going. Sometimes you throw something in the mix, it's a little weird. I think it'd be cool to have more platforms, more formats where we can throw people in. You know, we I need, agree. We need a no jumper like love love segment. You feel me? It, that's already coming. relationship segment. We're working on that. Yeah, really. <coughs> Why wow, you need some help? I can help you. <laughs> <laughs> you were the last person I want advice for. What the fuck? I'm in a great relationship. <laughs> yeah, you but it's like girl problems. I feel bad. <laughs> you, son. I got 99 problems. With yeah, but you don't count because you've been off the market for so long and you just so yeah. happen you just so happen to like strike upon gold where you have a girl that you could fuck other girls with and shit like that. I feel like you like you're so far removed from like a normal relationship that there there's no way you could give me sound advice. It is very hard for me to Which I think remember. Of it's I'm great. I'm high. Oh, Bro, this good. shit tastes amazing. I've been working on it gas. for a while, man. Shout out to Big Chief. And it looks good. I can see the purplish. Like, I see this. Know? The Joker is really face melting. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he made that uh, lawnmower or something. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like a car with a broken transmission. <laughs> Sound crazy. <laughs> That's how I feel too. Yeah, are you, like, are you gonna like go home and murder your whole family? Or some shit? <laughs> like, you just like live. feeling the, some shining shit. Yeah, you're like feeling the character too much. Like, nah, I know. I was thinking about that. Maybe I get into it too much. Start yelling at everybody in the office. <laughs> I felt kind of lame just being like cool and like chilling with everybody yeah, all day. You, I thought I should have been kind of like terrorizing them and yelling. And yeah, shit. honestly. You should have like locked Eerie in the closet or something. Bro, you guys missed out on fucking No Jumper Christmas yesterday where I brought all my old no clothes. Christmas. I seen that shit. You didn't get anything? Nah. We gave you the LRG hoodie. I need them. LRG told you to give it to me. Yeah. I, <laughs> I need them Supreme Fives. That's what I need. No, those are staying in the closet. Wow, look. Actually, do I even have this still? I gotta check it I out. I hope somebody stole them from me. That'd be cool. Encourage that. I encourage Come take the Supreme shoes. I encourage you just having good stuff that you just just let sit around that's why i had to that's why i had to ask for the chain like you just had it just sitting around i'm trying to figure out like why you guys think i'm so dripless and and fix that and <laughs> you're that's trying what, to figure that I'm out i'm trying to just like you know but that's, start, your, that's your style your your drip is having no drip but i'm trying like to bill gates bro what, he's got money you just like fuck it but what what, what do i need to buy that <laughs> a lambo yeah give what? me your old car no, I don't have an old car. <laughs> Not your old car, but like, the give me your car, car. Okay. And then you get a fucking Bentley truck. Okay. But I'm talking about clothes right now. That's a part Although of the Although I agree drip. the Bentley would help. That's a part of the I drip. I think you should buy every pair of high rollers first to start. Yeah, that's a fact. If that, I don't think people would give me drip points if I was just wearing your shoes every day. <laughs> no, people sent me that picture you posted. They were like, oh, look, he creased them up. Look. Uh, uh. I was like, bro, they're his shoes. It don't matter. Cool, gave you some good promo, though. He gave me some great promo. Then my fucking Instagram got deleted. Go follow my new Instagram at Property of House Phone. Why did your Instagram get deleted? I had hella strikes, to be honest, so I don't know. Really? I just woke up one day, and it was gone. It's, like, scary to even post now. Bro. And, like, it's just really fucking up my rollout plan. I was finna drop all this. Like, I got, like, wow. I got like three music videos already shot, ready to go. I'm re ready to make my music you got come a, back. You got a hat battle that's coming I got up. a hat battle, like. And, and both of you didn't even wear hats today. Nope. I know. We, uh, this is, like, telepathic, like. You covered up your head and you because your your heads are both all worn out from throwing so many different mm, hats on, huh? Maybe, nah, my shit's beautiful. Yeah. I haven't been it. to the barber in Prove about it. a couple weeks. I'm not taking off right now. <laughs> I've been counting on it the whole time. I've been, I haven't been to the barber in a couple of weeks, so my shit looking a little crazy right now. Hey, you know what's crazy too is that people are so invested in this hat battle now. They ask every day when, when we're and doing it's like it. <laughs> house phones front runner, like to make his hats. I had one of them on yesterday. 
And someone was like, that hat sucks. And I said, that's, that's house phones people. What a great hat. First of all, bitch. are the people who make these hats pissed off that you guys are turning them against each other? Shout out to my homie, Laura Fubu, first of all. Shout out to White wait, Arterier. Wait, 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 wait. Shout, shout out to my boy. Shout out to Laura Fubu. Shout out he to... He has a booth at Complex Con. Hey, my guy is moving weak. up. Weak. You does, know what does I'm he saying? Just get I'm to, a hater. Does he get to just be Lord Fubu and that's not infringing on the Fubu, Fubu copyright? Like, nah, he used, to, he used to make beats. I don't know if he still makes he beats. He still makes beats. His beats are make, hard, yeah, too. his beats are hard. I was, I and shout out to White Arterier. That's my boy, too. Yeah. Why our tier the Shout out to the Pensacola nah, Mall. Call, call. Shout out, yeah, shout out to the Pensacola Mall. Why you shout out that guy? That, that, fuck that nigga. What? <laughs> fuck the homie. Pensacola nigga? <laughs> yeah. Hey, my homie. He kept you safe while you were out there. Yeah, what he you keep, mean? He didn't keep me safe. Wow. He laced you up with some terrible hats. Suicide in the building. Shout out to OG Suicide. Shout out OG the, Suicide, man. Out here. Out here. AD, you should have been OG Suicide for, uh, for Halloween. That would have been hard. <laughs> That would be tight. <laughs> What's it going to do different? I don't understand how Trev just nailed the Adam 22 look. That was crazy. Insane with the bald head cap. Melting, bald cap and everything. Yeah, his his head felt like a fucking baked potato. Right. <laughs> I touched it. It felt like it was finna cave in. How did you feel when you saw Boosie's homophobic comments towards Lil Nas X? <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. I was like, hey, man, this nigga is wildin', bro. Like Wildin'. Like... Lil Nas X is amazing at the internet. Mm. He he didn't even do nothing crazy. He just like kind of he he threw a little little bait and he just boosty just bit. Number one rule of the internet: never call somebody the f word. Well, that is a good rule too. But number never one, tell somebody to kill no themselves. Emotion. Yeah, don't like let somebody debate. get you out of character. That's the number one rule of the internet. Is like you stay chill. Don't don't show your hand. Don't let people know what pisses you off, et cetera, et cetera. And that's why when when Lil Nas X gets to go on Instagram Live and say something for like five seconds and say like, oh yeah, I got something coming out with Boosie, haha. And then for Boosie to be so mad that he basically does like probably like career actual suicide. damage to his career mm. by going on Twitter. In all caps. The, wor the worst place to do this. And I say this with, with much love and respect for Boosie because he's obviously one of the greats of all time in rap music. Love the guy. I trying to get him on the podcast recently. He, for some reason, bailed on me. Had him on before with a little blurry. Mm. But remember that? where is Lil Blurry in all this? That was a great uh, great era in the Boosie great saga. Great era, man. That's true. He really saw some potential. That's a little white kid, huh? Yeah. He was not. Yeah. No, we better not let you get your hands on him. The fuck you mean? No, turn. <laughs> He's going to have claw marks on his back. Anyway, oh my God. anyway, what? when Lil Nas X gets to what say something that, like sir? that on Instagram Live, and then Boosie goes all caps status on, the grand, or on Twitter, it's not good. And I'm pretty sure he had to delete the tweet. Of because, course he had to. Because, you know, Twitter has rules that do not look kindly upon like serious homophobia like the the f word is probably something that they're but definitely adam, not adam into. can take his dick out and fuck people on there <laughs> and it's adam, all good adam could be getting his ass ate on twitter <laughs> yeah, and like <laughs> that's would fine. you rather live in a world where i'm not allowed to get my ass eaten on twitter because probably. to me that's probably one of the best things about twitter is that you can get your ass eaten on there and your account doesn't go away or like zay hilfiger could suck a glass dildo crying on god saliva dripping out his mouth I don't know, man. Bro. Boosie just took it too far. Like I, I think Boosie, I think Adam Twenty Two took it too far by getting his ass <laughs> on, <laughs> on Twitter, getting his ass ate and getting his dick sucked at the same time. I, I, I responded to Boosie's tweet with the video of <laughs> me getting my up. ass eaten. And no, you did not. I swear to God, <laughs> you did. Surprised you didn't unfollow me. <laughs> did you actually? <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait. You replied to the the, the tweet in question? No, well, that's a oh, good idea. But no, I, I did it on uh, on another one. Are you talking about his movie or He's something? He's talking about something else. I just responded with the, the Why video. Why did you do that? <laughs> He's a fucking troll. That's I'm lit. I'm lit. Why not? You it's think I'm scared of Boosie seeing me get my ass eaten? Nah, I don't think I'm you're not scared. scared. You're fearless. I don't think you're scared of anything. Fearless, dude. Yeah, you're the Joker. A man ran in and put a gun to your head, and you laughed. I know, and for some reason it went viral on, Twitter, on TikTok this weekend. That? Yeah. Really? Because the videos of it on YouTube, mm -hmm. I saw in our analytics, got a shitload of views, and I'm wondering why. And then I realized that there's a TikTok, TikTok. of the guy pulling the strap out on me that got 6 million views on TikTok. Wow. Crazy, right? It should be on the No Jumper TikTok, which you should follow at No Jumper TikTok. 1.1 million. I need to get on TikTok, too. And you guys got to start tagging us on TikTok. 
I'll tell the team. Tell the team, please. I'm gonna tag your dad and say to you. Don't mean the, dad, don't mean the damn there. thumbnail. That's all Bro, I mean. My dad has almost a million TikTok followers. What do you mean your dad has a million? My t- dad. What? What he'll, is he and doing? He'll be, and he's coming on my show next week as well. Oh Wait, God, wh- I gotta be there. You gotta be there. Come on, let's go. You gotta bring your mom too at this point. Nah, they're they're not they, together. Don't, they don't even be together. together for no, like I'm just saying, years, right? <laughs> I know, but I'm just saying, like that'll be hard as fuck. <laughs> Wait, we, we anyway, all... Boosie. <laughs> I was uh, at the mall when I saw that shit. I was just like real worried. I had to put my phone away. You were worried, just worried for him because I feel like he's he like you know I care about Boosie's legacy and how he's perceived and everything, and I just feel like he's kind of doing like actual damage to his career when he goes on Twitter and says something like that and I just don't I just think it's misguided like I think he could be the voice of the people who feel the way that he feels without like, taking I, it like that I am totally pro gay etc but when Boosie if Boosie wants to be the voice of people who think that what Lil Nas X is doing is not good that you know cool like you can have that opinion clearly there's a lot of people who feel that way but when you take it to dropping the f-bomb on twitter and when you take it to telling the kid to kill himself and shit it's just you're crossing a big old line as far as i'm concerned where you're gonna end up banned from twitter as well like you're already off instagram and shit yeah and it's just you don't want to be like me banned from everything and it tarnishes the the, the, if he has a serious me bro listen if he has a serious point to make he should not be prefacing that point with you know yeah. calling him that and telling him to kill himself it's no good it's just like there's no winning winning to that at all you're just gonna look back and look like an asshole they're gonna try to cancel you from bigger shit like yeah. no like big corporate company is gonna want to work with you but hey boosie out here he's Kyrie Irving he don't give a fuck he's ready to go down yeah. with the ship yeah Kyrie Irving is on some shit too man that nigga hey, we pro- just made a video about saw that supporting him crazy he's out here too I had Crip Mac in the CVS getting vaccinated. Yeah, he took advantage of him. How is that? He did his own research. He said Mama Bear and Granny Bear both he got did. vaccinated CC as well. He did his own research. Yeah, talking to his grandma and his mom, which is, you know, <laughs> for, for me. Is that science-based what you go it was, it was kind of weird for me to realize that the whole reason why he was getting vaccinated was because he knew two people that had, <laughs> like, all I had to tell him was, Crip Mac, I got vaccinated, my girl got vaccinated, my whole family got vaccinated. That was, that was enough for him, which... Fair enough. Whatever. It's probably enough for a lot of people, though. I now know his government. Mm. It's not. It's, it. it's not Crip Mac. No. Wow. I'm not gonna say it. Chet Don't. Hanks. But like, I, I thought it was Crip Mac this whole time. It was just an awkward moment when they yelled it out at the CVS. He's like, oh, what? Me and Trevor <laughs> are just looking at each other, like, what? And then we're like, it's you. What was it like? It's a cool name. Cornelius. I know a nigga named Cornelius. Bornelius. Then if he, if his name was Cornelius, then he would just call him No, I, he's a crit, right? Cornelius. He'd still be Cornelius, but Corn Cornholio. Cornholio. <laughs> if if Critman's name was Cornholio, now we're talking. <laughs> You're We should get Mr. him to do Hol- the Cornholio thing though, where he puts his shirt up over his head and That would actually I need TD for my bunghole. Nah, don't do that boy like that. No, yeah. yeah. I need cream for my butthole. <laughs> oh my god, that's the Kelly K version. <laughs> MGK gave me a hemorrhoid in my butthole. <laughs> how do you? Hey, how do you? How do you think he woke up this morning? Did that shit got like what, like a hundred thousand views already or some shit? They got like two hundred K right now. Yeah, that's now. what I'm saying. Like, hey, yo, Hollywood Unlocked got it. Jason Lee, shout out Jason Lee. That's my boy. I think I lost hella weight. Yeah, out here. I'm trying to get on that. You off that Molly? Okay, I'll, probably not. But I'm, he off that Molly. I love Jason Lee. What if he just started working out or got like gastric bypass surgery? I mean, it's probably like, more likely that, yeah. That, that he got Molly's the old school way to lose weight. I ain't never lost weight off of Molly. You're not losing he weight, period, <laughs> because you're in here eating choco nuts or whatever the hell it's called. You, you wasn't, you wasn't, Molly. you wasn't taking enough Molly. That's He's why. eating cocoa nuts. Choco bites from Big Chief. Choco Lincoln. bites, right? I'm trying to get a bitch to eat my cocoa nuts. <laughs> you don't got none. You got no bitches. Not right now, bro. Really? You sound like T-Real. Yeah. You got no bitches? <laughs> <laughs> You're going through shit. You need a bitch right now. A sis, even. Yeah, uh, yeah, but like, I think that's why I don't need a bitch, because these bitches be just adding more stress. I so, don't need no stress. So when that one stripper that we always be talking about, oh when she talks God. about her man on the gram, that's not you. Wait, who? What? No, oh, no, nigga, relax. Oh, yeah, like, it is. That's not you? Y'all got to relax. No. For a while, I was thinking that's she was talking home. about you. Her name is, uh... That's the homie, bro. That's not my bitch. Relax. Okay. You never went down that road? Nah. Do you remember? If I were you, I would have chased that 
Chase that down. Chase that cat. I want to ask you, do you remember this one specific girl that I brought here this one time that you're probably not going to remember? Yuri might remember because I, that's why I was here. Zan Princess? No, no, no. <laughs> this was a while ago. Like, Yuri made me come here to do a fucking beer pong thing with him and Lucha. Mm. And I brought this girl. I remember I, sp I spilled a drink all over her. Nigga, I was there. That's you was I, there I too. Was. It was me and you battling each other. Wow, that's when yeah. I remember. That's when. Back alcoholic AD, different age. Hey, that, I'm not gonna lie, that was fun actually. AD but. stood for alcoholic dude at the time. <laughs> now it's the alkaline dude. Mm. Wow. You just freestyled that too. And I was lying. That was hard. Alkaline. Honestly, you said it with so much confidence, I think we all believed it. Yeah. That was hard. It's our role. It's our role. But yeah, basically, I, I rekindled the old flame today. That's what I was trying to that say. That girl? Yeah, that girl. Say her name. Nope. You need to hit up the Zan princess. That's the homie. She coming. She co she be doing the live streams with me. She gave me a shirt and I had to bring it back here because it was too small. Shout out to Nigga, work out. Yeah, work out. It's gonna be even tighter. <laughs> oh, cause you're gonna get buff. Be fit me like an affliction shirt. And nigga, I bought this Palace Crew Neck like last year, and I still have not worn it because it, it was it was an XL, but it fit hella tight. So you're just waiting to lose weight. I literally have it in the in the plastic in the bag in my room still. Ugh. Just waiting to lose some weight. Bro, I did the massive closet overhaul. Oh. I got rid of so much shit. I did that shit Where too. Where the Supreme Fives at? No. <laughs> but now Josh and Trev and Boston Nova have all my clothes. Who do you think needed it the most? If you see them rocking any like Adam 22 recycled fits, just roast, know. Roast them about it. Point it out. That you see is me what's come going in, on. You thought I was going to take some shirts. I didn't take shit. You're too proud to take Adam 22 leftover clothes? Yeah, hey, facts. Man. After facts. I found out about your shower routine... <laughs> They can keep them, burn them motherfuckers. <laughs> Take a shower. <laughs> hey. Fuck y'all. Nigga, just take a shower. I, I take a shower every day. <laughs> you just lied now. Actually, the, the woman who, who bleached my hair was pissed at me because I took a shower immediately and washed my hair. And she said, you, you're, you're better off having... All yeah, your the oils your and shit. oil in your hair before you get your hair dyed. That's a fact because you Didn't don't want to just burn your. your Would you be scalp. mad if it like the dye fucked it up and you had to get like another operation? Yeah, that would be crazy, right? Yeah, that would be upset. What if it just burnt the follicles or some shit? I, know, like, oh, I, I was thinking about that. I don't think that's a thing. Would you though. be down to go back to bald Adam? Yeah, I'm trying to avoid it. Yeah, I, don't wanna, I can you, tell. You've been looking at Trev all day. You don't want to look like that. Right? <laughs> I, said, I know you don't want to look like that. I told him too. I said it looked like he like Caillou, bro. Would you rather walk in the club? Ah, you. You'd rather walk in the club with me looking like normal me, like the way I looked yesterday, versus the way that Trev looks right now. Hair in the club reminds me of the Fonz. He's like, hey, yeah. You're dating yourself by even acknowledging that you know who the Fonz is. Happy Days, that shit was cracking. That shit is old school. I used to watch that it shit at late old, night. Very old school. Yeah. I love Happy Days. That nigga had a leather jacket on, right? The oh, Fonz, yeah. 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 He was so, that, he was the coolest one. Wasn't his name like Henry Winkler or something? Henry Winkler. Yeah. Winkler. I don't like that name. He Henry sounds Diddler. Like, bothers yeah. you? That sounds like a diddler. There's the, a diddler on the roof. A did <laughs> <laughs> that's a <laughs> diddler. I said that and you laughed so hard that day. Hey, instead of the Riddler, this is the diddler. <laughs> no. No, they have Batman saying that. Look at that diddler over there. You're a kitty fiddler. Oh, my God. Nambla. <laughs> Yo, I still haven't watched the Nambla documentary. And you smell like kitty litter. I dare you to say Nambla in a bar. No. Well, you can hate on him. Fuck Nambla. I don't fuck with these niggas. I ain't Nambla. I ain't fucking with these kids. I ain't Nambla. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't fucking with y'all boys. But I that, ain't Nambla. Yeah, that ain't even like... Yeah, yeah, that's good. The boys is better because the B and Nambla stands for boys. That's a good one. Speaking of the boys, when they bringing that show back? Pause. Um, no. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, you can say that. Uh, okay. You can say that. Are you guys I'm watching you? Yeah, I'm on yeah, season two. But season two? Oh, no, you're late. You're I'm late, almost buddy. done season three. Yeah, you're Don't late, say buddy. nothing to spoil it because I'm, I'm watching it late, right buddy. now. It's so hard, right? But that nigga remind me of you. What? <laughs> I got no bodies. Nah, that nigga remind me of Yuri. So we wouldn't know. <laughs> He's got even book. less bodies oh, than me. Is that how he found Riley? He stalked her? Ooh. Wow. I'm over this at? idea. Look, look. He got her cell. Look, he's looking at her cell phone right now. Yo. No to he self. Got, he Kill got the, the black no jumper. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he found he found Riley on a college campus drunk trying to take the train back home. Oh, my God. And he's he like, oh, I found. Attack. Yeah, he's like, oh, I found your phone. <laughs> he hit a Vitaly move on her. Yo, relax. Chopped off from behind the bush. 
We gotta check Yuri's basement now. Make sure he don't got a fucking. <laughs> <laughs> got some cage. Cage in got some teeth. <laughs> yeah, he's got a cage in the teeth or in the basement. There aren't really basements out here. Yeah, I finished season one like like two bro, days ago. I can't believe you were this far behind. No, bro, I was like so against watching it. And then, bro, the show Why? It was lit. Why? Yeah, it's been hard Be- because it's too many shows, and everybody's yeah. like, "You was so good," and I'm like, "Nigga, that was like uh, two years ago, though." I mean, it's on there now. Right? Well, you still haven't heard a whole lot of red, so like, nope. Have you been seeing the clips of from his shows, bro? That's his how, shows look crazy. That's they how, literally, that's how he is, bro. He wouldn't crazy. even listen to a whole lot of red. I had a nigga shank Ola for a pie. Okay. Olaf from Frozen? No. Oh. Olaf oh. Run. Wife and Lucci versus Thug. Oh, my God. God man. Shout out to Chop Boy <laughs> Ross. Bro, that shit is amazing. Like, he revealed so... Like, this nigga... I don't understand how you can cram that much research into one video. <sighs> but, I mean, if you're going to take, like, weeks to do research on a topic, I could see it. Like, if that was my whole... My main gig... Yeah. Because all you got to do if you want to start bringing stuff to the surface is start finding people who will talk to you who are. Bro, that's not how he's getting none of this information. He's not talking not. to nobody. That's he, what I would do, though. Yeah, that's what you would do. But he's, that nigga's just sitting on fucking Google. He's on just Reddit. Just looking shit up, bro. Going he's crazy. He's on Reddit. It's like, nah, he look, for sure is Look at this Reddit. random Reddit comment that got three likes that says that this person killed, killed this, this person. person. But they, they be right, though. Yeah. They be, like, revealing years later, like, yeah, this nigga actually did kill this nigga or, like... This YouTube comment was like right. The crazy thing about all that is how in all of it, I mean, you've never known Thug to get locked up. No, no like they no. they make him sound like in that video, it makes it sound like Thug is like so Tapped with the in. streets and shit. But Thug Thug has pretty much breezed through his time in the music he, industry unscathed. He did a great he did a great job at like morphing into this like. Mm pop culture figure that doesn't even really get because like remember when he first came out he was like you know beefing with this person beefing with that person it was all just like street shit going on Mm. but he like morphed into this like pop character where they like unless you know about the old thug and you know about all that shit like you wouldn't even look at him like that Mm. you feel me love thug innovator of music bro you want to go try to link with him this week what you mean let's go we're going to an event i think Oh, for his album? Well, Thursday, the uh, the the Peso, Suede, mm. et cetera, that show. Like, that's going to be hard. Where is that at? Swifty Blue. Let's go. Thursday. Let's go. And then there's also a uh, Damn, record release. You ready to pop outside now? Let's go. Let's go. We're going to bring Kiki. That's my boy. You coming with us, AD, or you fucking got some clubs to host? He's always I'm making booked, I'm booked Thursday. You are? Of course. You got to perform. I, I told you that. I'm booked I Thursday, it. twice Sunday. Then I got to roll we around my house fr- phone. We might Let's do go. Friday. I too. might bring T-Rail. We might have to. How you going to bring all my homies? Because you're making up shit. You got to go get your fucking <laughs> tampon changed or something. <laughs> Whoa. You Whoa. just you just freestyled a booking off off the head. Nigga, it's on my page. Mm. You getting heavy bookings now? Bro, I'm getting a lot of bookings. To do what? Pull up to a tennis salon or something? <laughs> What? What you getting booked for? To get your ass ate? Nothing. Yeah, pretty much. Get an asshole bleach. <laughs> said, get, a, get an asshole bleaching. <laughs> my girl booking girls to, to eat get my an butt. Edema? Eat his butt. Oh my god. Chow she, down. She's like, I don't want to have to do this shit no more. Let me get another. Business. <laughs> yeah. I he smells st- so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to eat this stinky hairy ass no more. I'm gonna get <laughs> fucking exiled from the porn industry because of you guys spreading <laughs> lies rumors. about my health. Traveler Ross is gonna make a video about you. Well, I'm over here doing scenes with girls and having to explain my sty to them first. You about to get Lena a sty eating that stinky man butt. You never know. She's been avoiding it. She's been. Ta- she told me she's like, "Yeah, it's kind of sucked having sex with you for the past couple of weeks because you've had that big ass sty on your fucking eye." I'm like, "Thanks, what, babe." When you got this mold it, on your back, mold. <laughs> yep. Wait, what the fuck is, is the mold? Is, this, <laughs> is the sty transferable? Like, no. You Styes can, are contagious, but it's gross. Is it contagious? Come on, Mr. Science Man. Tell us about your eye. Oh, my God. Honestly, pretty much right after we did anal, I went and took care of my sty. I put the same glasses on that you just fucking had your fucking sty eye on. Yep, beast cut gonna look like Hitch in a minute. Damn. God damn it. I I didn't have those on. No, I put your fucking hater blockers on, which definitely rubs your sty. I'm pretty sure hater blockers are also sty blockers, (laughs) from what I've heard. Maybe I should block some haters for a little while. I'm not seeing the chat right now. Josh, can we see the fucking donos? Don't know, don't know. I love to check in with the fans because we want to know what they want us to talk about. That's a fact. 
We freestyled this whole show. We didn't even like. I know. Somehow, in the getting the Joker costume applied, and then interviewing Toby from H two O, which is a fire interview coming soon. Who the fuck is H three H three? It's a legendary New York City hardcore band. Mm. Oh. And then also uh, interviewing the professor. Shout out to professor. Crossing niggas up in jail. We filmed a fucking TikTok where he where he does uh, the off the heezy to me. <laughs> What's off the heezy? Where he fucking <laughs> takes the ball yeah. and he, like bounces it off your head. While while you're like guarding him, yeah, that's... you don't remember that from like no, no, NBA Street, off the heezy. I don't know how impressive it's gonna look, but I am dressed like the Joker, so it'll probably be pretty cool. That should be my new Instagram. I might go viral. Off the heezy, off the house phone, off the housey, off the ketamine. Here we go. <laughs> I'm like I can't read the screen. Sty in my eye, as if you're gonna be able to read the fucking screen. Sty in my eye, so like I'm about to die. Uh. Check in with me, yeah, and clean my eye. Uh huh. We will not wash. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Nope. I won't take a shower. Yep. I eat it for an hour. Uh. <laughs> Fuck y'all. From the bottom of my heart. I won't wash my dick. I still fuck a bitch. Him right on her butt. <laughs> <laughs> she- I'm reading these things. Uh. Josh changing it up. Is that that's the current order right here? Blake Esco is my name. Cool. Adam, <laughs> Adam with the vintage Joker look. I see you. That's what you Sasasari said. Thank you. Michael Metrok four said like for the algorithm. Five dollars. Appreciate you, bruh. Blake Escobales, ten dollars said Blake Esco. Listen to my music and videos. Shout out to Blake Esco. Free El Chapo, $5. Said, Adam, that costume is fire. Appreciate you. Yeah, it is pretty gas. Metro, Metro 4, likes are free. Appreciate you. <clears throat> Xavier Maddox, $2. House phone dressed up as Lil Perp Grape and Hood. <laughs> 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 Lil Perp. Th- those are all the ones from today? Yeah. Okay, well, if you guys do want to get any more donations, then we will see them. Just so, just so you know that we are tapped in. Shout out to the motherfucking chat, man. I hope y'all niggas in there are going crazy. You don't think Hassan's going to get in trouble for wearing this uh, bandana? Nah. The last time I wore a bandana, somebody... That ain't like... We're not taking you to Watts like this. No, I'm definitely not. He got, like, far he got like the like, light purple. He ain't got like the Yeah, but if, 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 if certain people see me and they see any type of purple, they're going to be like, yeah, nigga. Hold on. You're you going to wish you had a Greedo feature. I need a Greedo feature. We I need an AD feature. You, got AD you feature. can't get one, but you know who could. Mm. He on the album Aren't you on the album mm-hmm. Shout out to Chris Man, Mack. I, Adam you should have did an intro on there or, or interlude or something Hey and I would like to throw this out there Is that Crip Mac is looking for a manager yeah, You should manage He's him. supposed to do it He hit me and AD up multiple times the other day saying that He didn't want me to manage him He wanted you to manage him I got things going on I don't think I'm the man <laughs> for the job and, uh, I got things going on I have a strong desire to stay He's gonna take this nigga get vaccinated And he just leave him in the dust yeah, after that exactly So that's fucked up <laughs> I, I'll get vaccinated but I won't manage him <laughs> Listen, I'm trying to take care of his life But not his career Adam22 is an apolitical uh, person Out here in these streets I feel like a political prisoner mad love for Crip Mac though I feel like a political prisoner bro They're trying to silence me everywhere They took my Twitter <sighs> They took my damn Instagram it's it's fucked What's up. next? What's next? You're being silenced. I I, I feel like I, I need to stand up. Like we need to protest to get my Instagram back. Ian Connor got to all, keep his yeah, fucking social know, media. Let me know where and when and where. You're, trying, you're out here trying to be the next Ian Connor, and Who you're not going to get wait, there. Wait, if wait, you can't whoa, build up whoa, your whoa. socials. Wait, that's a little homie. That's your little homie. No, I'm going to say Ian Dior. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking fried. <laughs> you are way Bro. too fried. <laughs> what is wrong? With what the fuck? <laughs> I meant to say Ian. <laughs> no, but I, that's that's what I when I think of uh, the fucking. I like the Desto Dev comparison more. Oh yeah, I like that more. Yeah, because you didn't really get like canceled before you started your shoe brand. No, that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to stay away from that. Yeah. No, you were just out here in the streets. Not really. Trapping out the ham on everything. Trapping out the hammy. With the blammy. Moons over my hammy. Kill a nigga in his family. Best Denny's uh, sandwich ever. When are we all going out? We're supposed to start doing stuff more socially since I think, you know, Pensacola kind of proved to us that it is a good idea to leave the house together. Mm. Good content. The office, rather. Good content. 
Uh, I'm, da- I'm down I to go to I think we should the- go to a fucking haunted house, man. Same that would Halloween. be hard. But I'm not going to like no crazy like McCainy Manor type nah, shit. Nah, nigga, let's go to like Hollywood, uh, Hollywood uh, yeah. Horror Nights or something. Four yeah, yeah, I'm down to do some shit like that. I'm down to go to like Six Flags. And then had Trev and fucking Yuri vlog this shit. Let's go to Disneyland. Nah, nigga, nah, we, we need go some to fucking scary, horror shit. Funny I'm shit. scared already. I don't want to fucking get it. <laughs> I'm I scared already. I don't want already, some dude man. jumping out trying to scare me and shit. Yo, I know, yeah, I, I know you see the costume. Is, you think I'm a crazy guy. In reality, Adam is hella jumpy. Every time <laughs> I see him at a festival <laughs> or at a show, he doesn't know I'm there. I run up on him like, ah, he'd like jump out his you pants. You tried that bullshit with me, too. I did. I did. I tried to do that to you. You didn't move at all. Uh-uh. And the fucking fresh and fit nigga literally almost jumped out of his t-shirt. When mm-hmm. the guy pulled up on me with the gun, I thought it was a house phone. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! All Did black you really? people don't look alike. Adam. He wasn't. No, black. he wasn't even black at all. <laughs> I think Adam is used to me doing that, trolling him. That's why. That is like honestly like the shut the fuck up. Are you joking? You know, obviously, like, like your mind is moving very fast yeah, in fact. that moment, and especially when your brain has been slowed down by consuming marijuana all night. Mm. But yeah, that is kind of like me when I let out the giggle, which is what what so many people were confused about. That is kind of what was going through my head. Is like, is wow. this house phone playing a joke? Well, I'm sorry, bro. I gave you like that much PTSD. I'm sorry. Yes. Sorry, bro. You've traumatized me. Sorry, my boy. It's damn. Why would you think that was me? Because <laughs> that's just the kind of psychopath shit you would do. What? Maybe not. Maybe back then. Definitely. But, but now, no. This is also around the area where you were like trash in the Pacific Sunwear. Yeah. Also, I feel like now it's too many blammies around. Hmm. And I feel like if if you didn't know fast enough, you might have just shot me. You know what I do when someone shows me a blammy? <laughs> <laughs> Try it. <laughs> Bow. Try it. Ah. Yeah. What if you like? What if you like Cyclops and you got like some fucking laser in them shits? You that know? would be such a dream. What were the superhero powers that you fantasized about as a kid the most? Flying. Wolverine, I wanted to be able to make fucking big claws pop out of my hands. I thought that would be pretty cool. You're a psycho. Yeah. What? I wanted to fly. I wanted to be able to disappear. And I wanted to be invisible so I could yeah, rob banks. That's what I'm saying. And fly so you can get away. Feel me? And then. You don't have else? to rob a bank. Big Herc robbed a bank. Who the fuck is Big Herc? You don't know Big Herc from the Fresh Out channel? Huh? Uh-huh. You be speaking a different language sometime. He's got a popping ass channel. He got like fucking four million subs and shit. It's like a prison channel. His interview's dropping soon. You should, you should check in with him. He gave me some pre work pre workout. I think it's time the to creatine. Uh, I think it's time to update me and uh, AD's interviews. Oh, you guys want new interviews? I talk to you all the fucking time. I what know, am I gonna ask? I, I, like, I like my uh, my interview because it keep getting traction. We gotta update it though now. Yeah. So I need an interview from somebody yours? else. I need Vlad to give me an interview. We should do an interview. Have you ever had before? Let's of course it. you have. Do it. Yeah, he brought like random people with him and shit. Who, you? Yeah. You brought random people on like your some lab? guy he just met is just sitting there. That was my fucking <laughs> producer, Char J. Nari. Some guy you just met. <laughs> just here, sitting sit in the Vlad interview <laughs> with me. here. Nah, I, I, there has to be a high percentage of motherfuckers who came here, who didn't know nobody in L.A. like that, and just met somebody before they came here. It was like, oh, yeah, come with me. But you got to have some pull to be able to bring somebody on your Vlad interview. That's how you know the AD in these streets. Because mm-hmm. normally Vlad is just like, no. no. Really? He told you that? No, but I just feel like Vlad is very picky about who he has on a show and whatnot. I like that. Someone said, you don't give a fuck. You're like, bring anybody on. Yeah, all your homies. Bring them on. <laughs> no, I mean, I used to do that a lot, but it usually sucks. But sometimes I let them do it anyway. Bro, I'm pretty sure. I let Treyway 6K just have random. His, but they, well, they all rap together. And one was the... Threat, dude, who's yeah, fire. I'm yeah. gonna say they, they, they all rap together. They, they but, he, but I didn't even ask any questions when he's just like, "Can I bring them on?" I'm like, "All right." I yeah. didn't even realize the other one was a popping rapper. Oh boy, I was mad at myself after. All right. Okay. Eleven Eleven said best Halloween movie. I have no opinion. Scream two. Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre series. Nigga, Hereditary. Can well, you do a Halloween movie? Can you do a movie. good Joker laugh? That's what Juanita Bro said. <laughs> no, here's my laugh. <laughs> Dude, that's a thriller. No- yeah, Notorious Tito said, "Free the wolf." What the hell does that mean? Mm-hmm. Oh, he's talking about Greedo, the wolf oh, of, yeah. Gra- the wolf of Grape Street. Free the guy. <laughs> RJ said, "Send my Jordan for his house phone." Oh, I did do an Instagram sale, and I never sent the stuff off. Creating chaos. Sorry, guys. Appears to be a woman, and it says, "I'll eat all that cake, Adam." Pause. She just shot her shot like wanted to eat your ass in the comments. That's crazy. You got to DM somebody that. AD Adam, when y'all having Snoopy badass on the show? 
House phone lose weight. <laughs> also, sp- <laughs> also Spiffy Luciano from LA with all money in Nips protege. Get him on the show. Mm. Uh, I gotta check him out. All homies. Snoopy badass. I saw that he has an interview with this guy I met the other day, so I gotta watch it because my name is in the title. But I don't Disney? know. What, I don't know what the hell he's saying about me. I did. I saw a clip where he has like. I've a, seen some shit before. He basically was just asking like. He feels like he should have got an interview a long time ago. A lot of people call me and say the same thing about how they deserve an interview from you. This is my thing. I saw a thing where he was saying basically that he he believes that YG and Wack have conspired to tell me not to interview Snoopy Badass. I would just like to clarify that neither of them have ever said anything about him to me. So I'm just kind of in the dark about that. In the dark, in the dark, in the dark. Arsenal fan 13 said you should interview Tim Dillon. I agree. I, you should message him on social media and tell Tim Dillon to do an interview with me. Who's Tim Dillon? Comedian. Who's Tim Dillon? He's hilarious. He's on Rogan all the time. Shit. <laughs> Nando said, Adam, I don't know if it's the costume or all the Halloween candy, but you looking thick. What? Mm. <laughs> I, have, it'd be, I have gained a little weight. It'd be so crazy that like the the men viewers are the ones that will speak on uh, our weight fluctuations. But the I, most. I appreciate it because that kind of thing it keeps you in line. Yeah, it motivates me to lose weight when the fans talk shit. So yeah, as much as I'm probably going to restrict your comment on Instagram, so you can't comment that. No, I'll let you. You can call yeah. me fat. That's cool. Honestly, I let niggas say whatever they want. Yeah, but then I'll say something back, and then that's probably why I got deleted because I'd be cussing niggas yeah, you out. This a military person. I think that yeah. every because because just now I, just I thought about I, I that. posted a fucking kendama trick, and. I use the Offset Gym clip where he has a very, very hard series of bars where he says, I'm from a murder zone, talking murder on the burner phone. Mm. And I was going to put that as the caption, but then I immediately realized, like, oh, you can't, you can't write anything like that on Instagram yeah. anymore. Yeah. AD, also, I probably just shouldn't write that anymore. I had put, I'm fucking this bitch and spreading them <laughs> ass cheeks, that booty hole pink. And it got deleted? As the caption, and AD was like, you should probably change that. And I was like, damn, you're right. He's real real friends. No, honest. It's my boy. My niggas, man. Nick Toria said, you guys should do a call-in show to have fans say they're oh ridiculous stories like girl problems and stuff. I do agree. Yuri, let's do an after show some night soon. Or we'll That's just do a, a stream where we just turn the Discord on or something and just take That's some callers. That's a great idea. I like that idea. It's going to be somebody like, yeah, Adam <laughs> fucked my, my girlfriend in 2016, bro. Off 18 Zans. <laughs> It's like, dude, we fucking, we like took a picture with Adam and then next thing I know, my fucking girl just disappeared. (laughs) (laughs) Barracks94 said, I used to hate house phone, but he turned out to be cool. A lot of people say that. Allegedly. Now, one time, one time we was at a concert and like, I was like in the mosh pit with everybody and someone said that to me in the mosh pit. Like, dude, I thought you was. No. This nigga, this, this Mexican kid looked at me and was like, dude, I thought you sucked, but you're fucking tight. Dude, the bigger, for sure. Thank you. The bigger that Cardi gets Mm. and to a lesser extent, the bigger that you get, the funnier that That fucking photo gets. Yeah. House phone literally (sighs) elbowing Playboy Cardi, basically a god to a lot of you weird ass kids (laughs) in the head. (laughs) <laughs> and now you're Eskimo bros with him And me possibly being Eskimo bros with him That is true Shout out to Kelly K Shout out to, shout out to her man She's such a Throw Tyga on the list too Damn I feel like you probably piped a, I feel like we all probably piped At least one girl that Tyga is I feel like Tyga's fucking everybody out here Like Don't say it No <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna say uh, Just yeah at this point, I'm not even surprised by... Balkan plug. Why y'all always late? Love you. Fuck you. I was late. We got here eventually. Yeah. Lucy Ruth Streams said, interview Brittany Renner again. I would love to. You should definitely tell her to She's do that. She's a goat. I don't know if she likes us anymore. Why? Right. What did you do? I don't know. I just haven't talked to her in a while. She fucking walked past her seat after you not showering for a week. Ever since she got impregnated. <laughs> by uh, the basketball player? She unfollowed me when she uh, got wow. wifed up and, and, and impregnated. But now she's back dotting on the gram again. So maybe you so should. Maybe I can get the refollow. Maybe you should shoot some content with her. Mm. She doesn't do that, but. What do you mean? She doesn't do porn. So she just. Buddy. Uh, she just be fucking the uh, basketball she, she's niggas. She's out here trying to start a family. She already did. Now she's trying to start another one? Well, she's trying to, <laughs> she said it's stepdaddy season. She's lit. <laughs> hey, she's listen. just trolling y'all. Nah, listen. At this point, bro, it's like you can't, nah, even, you can't even be mad at a bitch like that. She's telling she you what her, it is. She's living the truth. She's literally telling you what it is. So any nigga that falls into that, 
is stupid. You don't think she's looking for a good baby daddy? Well, Hell no. She's trying to get a bag. She got 200K a month from bro. Bullshit. No, nah, that was cap. Absolutely That's what not. it said, bro. That was cap. It said Adam, 200K Adam a month. I don't know what the real number. What was the real number, Adam? Since you know. It's four figures. She's not eating like that. And it's not like this motherfucker's getting money like that. You bro, know? are you how joking? He's, sign, to me. he's signing like eight million a year contracts. Like eight, eight million a year. Nine I think it's million. Like eight million is the total contract, Fuck right? No, bro, you tripping? Like either way. I, make- I heard the dollar amount was much much lower from a source okay. that I believe. Okay. Okay. Uh, Robbie McCoy, why do y'all LA guys wear y'all fitted with curved brims? Because you look because a fucking weird. Look like a fucking regular. stiff brim ass nigga. <laughs> you don't want to be that. Nah. Is that an LA thing? I thought it was kind of everybody. I think that's just like, know. nigga, you want to look like the niggas on the field. You feel me? You got to got to put that pitcher's curve onto it. Barracks 94, I want a video game about Adam running from a soul. What's a soul? S-O-A-L? He, he spelled shower wrong. Hmm. <laughs> Alex Gutierrez said, you guys need to have Gucci Gotti on the show. I'm actually going to the rap battle that he's in. That's going to be dope. And uh, Y'all on Saturday, so we're going to link up, and then I'm going to interview him after. Okay, so not like after, but like at some point in the future. Wait, wait, we going to this show on Thursday. Yep. What uh, we got to plan a fucking horror nights day. We'll figure that out. All right. Where's the it's lean? Still there in, it's still there in November. Where's, where's the, the lean? Where's cast? the lean Monday. podcast? Out? Where's we don't the lean know. cast? Let's go to Hollywood Monday. I got Monday booked. Lean cast. Lean cast. Lean cast. Let's go for. I'll bring the pint. Just say the word. <laughs> AD not gonna do it. We got somebody do- wants us to talk about Alec Baldwin shooting a motherfucker. Yeah. Well, like, why do they keep giving people real guns with real ammo on movie sets? Why is the person that was in charge of the guns had prior problems a closer with, to with, the mic. with equipment? Why bring a real gun? That's the whole thing. So like, Maybe Alec Baldwin just wanted to catch a body. I don't think he did on purpose, but, like... There's so many people out there trying to convince you that Alex, Bal- Alex Baldwin is, like, a crazed murderer. I don't think that was the case I wonder, at all. I w- not to know, like, I want to see the scene, but I want to know what the fuck he was acting to shoot somebody, like, on accident. Yeah. The scene with him and a gun. Imagine how bad he feels. For sure. I mean, you can't feel that bad, though. What if it's somebody you It's not your fault. You still kill gonna... somebody, even if it, even yeah. if it's like you have a really, really good excuse. I mean, but if you were just fucking feel horrible. a mega actor, you got all these people screening all this shit. Yeah, they give you, you a get gun. This, and they give you this prop gun. And you're acting, you're getting in a moment. Yeah, and you're it's going a real crazy. Gun. That's not really your fault. Yeah. The only time I've seen that was in the Child's Play movie. Chucky did that shit. All I'm saying is that you need some motherfucking therapy if you accidentally catch a body. Yeah. You know that shit's haunting you. That shit's yeah, playing sure. at night when you're trying to go to sleep. You're like, damn. You was, know that shit's playing too, right? in your mind. There's a lady too, right? Yeah, and he fucking wounded the director. Jesus. Crazy. Jesus. When yeah. I saw that headline, I fucking, my jaw dropped. I said, Lena, stop the TV. Listen to this. I just, uh, for the eighth time, why give them a real weapon or the real ammo? Yeah, whoever that was, that was That the makes ball. zero, like, nigga, it's a movie. Y'all got special effects. Even if you needed the the sound or, like, the, the motion to look like the gun really went off, like, you could have edited all of that in. You didn't need to give them a real gun. I don't understand. I'm not really sure how that happened. They gave him a real gun. That's why it happened. That's it's so stupid. Bad. That's just on production side. I just can't think how they could even. Alec think Baldwin that that cannot be trusted with a blammy. Speaking of same incident of uh, blammies accidentally going off, Trap Lord Ross YSL versus YFN video. They showed that video of YFN Lucci shooting the gun on accident. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. until I, I had literally forgot about that, too, until I watched that video. And I do remember everybody was clowning him for that. It's so funny how Thug's immediate response is to go subtweet him. Yeah. And just say. The fact that they were saying. Take that gun away from that boy. <laughs> or something like that. Yo, that, I was just like, are you fucking serious? That's he, so, it's so amazing just picturing Thug being that immature and petty because I'm just so used to he's him a Leo, being he's a Leo, bro. A sort of, uh, you know, being kind of above everything. You, you don't got, normally see him dipping into the stuff. No, you got, you got to remember that Leos will act above everything, but then they will dive in and be like, hold on, let me just roast you real quick. What a shame if Wyatt and Lucci ends up doing a long ass bid over that whole thing. Such a yeah. talented guy. How the Just, hell did that happen? That I don't whole, get it. That whole story about them sliding mm-hmm. and whatever and all that shit, nigga falling out the car, that shit is crazy, bro. Hard to believe that's real. 
I mean, bro, niggas is living life like it's really GTA. I need an explanation. I need like some kind of context or something to make sense of that to me because how it's just how are you that famous and you just go Uh, and just start shooting people? Like I don't don't know. It's hard to wrap your fucking head around. Oh, allegedly, we we don't know if that's. Do you know the origins of Wack One Hundred versus Spider Loke? It's a beautiful day. I need a YouTube explainer because I see them posting all kinds of crazy shit about each other, but I'm not sure how this all started. It's a beautiful world. I'm in my beautiful car. He wants nothing to do with this conversation because he fucks with both of them. I don't give a fuck what you talk about. <laughs> well, give us some insider information then. I don't know no insider information. Give me my phone. I'll call Wack. FaceTime right both of them together, AD. Give me my phone. I'm just playing, bro. Where's Wack 100? Jesus. You dare me? Is this crazy? I don't know. I'm staying out of this, he's too. He's going to answer for show watch. Oh, yeah. He's probably watching right now. That's your bro. He's, of course, he's, he's probably on Clubhouse right now. He's going to have to switch his shit up. You think he's really on Clubhouse all the time like that? Yeah. Eight or, eight or nine hours a day. He would not do that unless he had some type of investments. In What's up, bro? Whack 100. How you doing? <laughs> we started out so strong there with the what up bro yeah and then all of a sudden he's just gone dear god this nigga yuri uh warming up some traditional russian food should i try it again or should i wait for him to call back you think he'll call back you think of yuri eating anchovies and shit i'm so glad that whack doesn't know who yuri is <laughs> This nigga Yuri gave me a cold gelatin that was like you, basic. aka Joe from you. <laughs> it was basically chicken soup in the form what of up? a Jello. Whack. What up, bro? We are on no jumper right now, and I was just wondering if we could get a little bit of a, a statement on the current uh, back and forth between you and Spider Love. Who? Let me use the bathroom. Who is Spider Love? Who is that? I saw a, f- a post of a car. I saw a post of an address. It's get, it's getting spicy on the gram right now. Oh, you talking about the dude that told the world I got shot up in my porch two weeks ago? A car that I ain't drove in eight months was in my garage in the backyard. That dude? I didn't know about that. Yeah, yeah, he put up some shit talking about I got shot up in my porch and take off. All kind of shit. Fucking car. Bro, I ain't drawing that car in eight months, bro. I seen the fucking garage in the backyard. Then, like, listen, <clears throat> I let, I've been letting him do his YouTube shit, right? This real shit. I've been letting him do his little YouTube shit, and I thought maybe he just was trying to make some money for his family. So I never said nothing, right? Now, one thing about Wack, I got the receipts out of So once he did that, I went and got my old phone. I went back to 2018. The day after he begged me to get him in the club because they wouldn't let him in the club, I had to damn near bribe the people to let him in the club. When he comes in the club, right, he wants to, hey, man, could you give me up on the cash money west and all this shit? I'm like, yo, Spider, listen, bro. I'm here to see one of these new kids perform. I'm not here to talk that kind of business, but let's be real. You disrespected Birdman and Wayne, you and Fody Glock. You know damn well that can't happen. That don't even make sense. Well, when I got some things, I said, listen, bro, here go my number, call me tomorrow. He called me the next day. If you go to my Instagram, I put it up on him, bro. 2018, he's sending me this, sending me that. My boy just did 25 years, drug kingpin. Can you help me, you know, do a movie deal or a series deal? I actually called my people at E1. I, re- I really did call my people Tall Long over there, sent it to her. It wasn't the entrance because it was just like Freeway Rick and everything else but it just wasn't as dynamic told him they didn't want to fuck with it he's sending me music 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 i respectfully humbly told him i can't do nothing with it but i was a, i wasn't even asking a nigga call you know when a nigga ain't answering your calls and text four or five days at a time they try to tell you something so when, when he sent me the song some shit called best friend right i ain't gonna front i ain't even listen to it but you 40 something years old bro it's over with. You had your time. 50 Cent put you on the Get Rich or Die Trying soundtrack on three songs. Gave you the green light to run around and do the, the G-Unit West shit. It didn't happen for you, right? So I really ain't got time to, to fuck with you like that. Top of that, you done disrespect the game on some hater shit. 
then call me back, tell me, can you get game to follow me on the 2K video game and all kind of weirdo shit. So I didn't want to fuck with it. So I respectfully just told him, I can't, I can't do nothing with it. But if you go check the date that that's posted on my Instagram, where I put it up in 2018, and the day he went and started his YouTube channel, is days later, it went from whack please to fuck the whack campaign. Damn. Unbelievable, bro. And just receive. Go go to my Instagram. You'll, you'll see it. You, I, it's real slow. You'll see him. He even sent me pictures of himself standing with the drug kingpin dude, some dude named Melvin Butler, some shit. I don't know the dude, right? You're seeing, you're seeing talking to me. Yo, we can get bread off you, all this shit, right? But you know, my gut in the wish would tell me, dude ain't no good like that. I've been knowing him for years since the death row day, early 2000s and shit. He could catch the bus over there and sit outside the gate and wait to get in. Real talk, let me tell you how much respect I have for him. He got a brother named Big Spotter from his neighborhood, right? It's a dude, an Israelite dude that was doing work on my house. He brought me some paperwork. His little brother named like Abraham or some shit from Rolling City. There was a, some home invasion robbery shit went down in the IE. That nigga brother, Big Spider, told on everybody. You know what I did? I called Spider at the time he was living in the marina. I said, bro, you got a fax. He gave me his fax. I faxed it to him. I said, that's the paperwork on your brother telling on everybody. I took the paperwork and burnt it up on my stove, bro. Sure would have loved to have that shit because he hated his brother. Because them niggas robbed Petey Pablo back in the day. Sure never got no kicked out for that shit. I didn't go give it to Sure. I burnt it up out of respect for this dude. But because I told a nigga I can't do no business with him, respect him, nigga, now you run around here. Every podcast he has, bro, has my name in it. It's sickening. It's like you infatuated with a fucking man. It's weird as fuck. But then my man today say, yo, whack, we're in front of spot a low spot. It's the type of car he's driving. Unbelievable, bro. You on that motherfucker like you doing some big things. The nigga got a 1997 E-Class. E <laughs> he lucky I didn't post the pictures of the side of the guard with the molding going around the defender. <laughs> I left it alone. But at the end of the day, bro, it's like, you know, I don't know what dude Trip is. He called him blue face and snitch. Nigga, I got my paperwork. We beat that case outright. Accident beat it. That three years motherfucker probation community service, which we just turned the paperwork in and just got released from this previous Friday. So, you know, it's crazy because when I saw him, he was asking me, could he get a picture with blue face? This is what I mean about all these fake ass niggas out here, bro. The opportunists, but they the wrong type of opportunity. They come to you with something, they already got ill feeling, you tell them no, they go bad. I suggest everybody tell a nigga no three times before you tell him yeah. Oh, that way you know where he at. Adam, how many times did you tell me no, bro? Uh, with in, in regards I, to what? I called him, yo, I want to give him a hard enough kid. Hey, yo, when you told me your whack, he ain't ready. Hmm. Your whack, you told me no a couple times. Right? Fuck it. I'm a, you know what I did? I seen AD was up there. Maybe AD platform is a little more feasible for the new artist. Let me get him over here with AD. Let me wait till Adam think, you know, it's time for that to happen. Nigga can't get mad at a motherfucker protecting their brand, bro. It's their brand because if you knew what you was doing, you wouldn't need them. You would do it your motherfucking self. Damn. He just it's hit us. Shit, so it's like, he just hit us with the straight. Like, I ain't seen this dude in three years, bro. Like, and before the three years I seen him, he know I can get my little old girl on the phone. She was mad at me, bro, because I made her let the nigga in. She didn't want to let him in. They were standing in the front, bro, could not get in. The valley nigga had to get the nigga up to let in, right? I had to make her, because she's from my neighborhood. Her name is Cassandra. I had to make her let the nigga in, bro. Before that, I hadn't seen him for seven, eight years. It's just real shit. But this nigga is like, if anytime you talk about a man, if you go look at his podcast, he, he cannot go one podcast without mentioning my name. It's weird, bro. But yet, you was your whack, whack. Yo, bro, we can get paid. I've got this TV show we can do. Yo, whack, I got this song. Yo, whack, could you sign me? 
spot a little cash money whack. Oh, if you go to my Instagram, you will see it straight from him. The nigga he's sitting pictures of himself. Weird as fuck. I respectfully told him I can't do nothing with it. The nigga went on the fuck the whack campaign. That's a fake ass nigga. I can respect the nigga that just say fuck me out the gate. I respect that man. That's how that man feel about me. That's how we stand it. That's how we came in. I get it. But I can't respect the nigga coming in with a smile and open arms. And as soon as I duck your hug, nigga, you lose your mind. That's crazy, bro. Mm. You should do that. I, I, I hope his female don't ever try to leave me. <laughs> no, that's going to go. Jeez. Damn. Hey, I got, I got one other question. The best of luck. Hey, what up? What up, Adam? I, I heard a conspiracy theory that you were plotting, uh, uh, telling me not to interview Snoopy Badass. Adam, let me ask you a question, bro. Yeah. Did you if I got something I want to tell you, what the fuck I'm going to do, bro? You're just going to tell me. I'm going to tell you, right? Yep. Listen, that's another dude I don't know. Never seen Snoopy Badass a day in my life. He called my phone, asked me for advice about what he should do, didn't do. I gave him advice, blah, blah, blah. I've never seen this dude in my life. I'm going to interview Snoopy Badass. Hey, yo, bro, No Jump is a successful platform because of what you did and your structure of it. I'm never going to tell you who to interview, who not to interview, bro. That's your job as a blogger, a podcast, whatever that shit is. To do that, bro. You supposed to do that, bro. I'm never gonna tell no man who to do business with, bro. If he thinks that's a, what he needs to do, I'm not gonna do. I understand business, bro. I get millions of dollars conducting business. That's just like can't nobody tell me not to do business with Six Nine. Mm. Fuck you. That's my business. Can't nobody tell me like I can't tell you, Adam. Almost I cannot tell you. Who not to interview, bro? If there's a storyline there, if it's going to bring you views, my brother, you have my blessing. Get your money and win. Whether yeah. it's for me or against me, bro. Yeah, we, we never had a conversation about that. I was just trying to figure out where that uh, rumor was coming from because uh, we never had that conversation. You, see, but Adam, you know me. Adam, you will wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning with a fucking catch with me. You know that. <laughs> and if you don't answer, I'm calling next week. You know that. <laughs> the like, show. Real shit, so yeah. Whoever's but, saying that dumbass <laughs> shit is weird. I'm not, I'm not going to never tell you, AD, nobody, hey, I don't fuck with that nigga. Don't, I'm not going to do that, bro. That's your job, your platform, bro. You're supposed to do that, bro. I'm not gonna lie though, Wack. Wack, I thought that if I, I, I thought that if I had Nina Boy on the platform, that you might take it personally. That's a nigga dude I don't know. I've never seen him in my life. My little homegirl girl told me he tried to pay her to introduce him to me. I've never seen this dude in my life, bro. Ever in my life. Somebody told me the nigga don't even live in California. He in like Vegas or something. I don't know that man, bro. That's why I won't respond to him because I know what it is. It's clickbait. They just using my name, to, you know what I mean? Even with Spider, I'll be <laughs> in a way that only niggas know. I ain't casting him with none of that. It ain't happening. I'm not giving you what you want. I'm going to clown your ass and still not give you what you want because he won't that time. He got, you know... You thought 19, thought whatever he got on there, he won't be to send my people his way. It's not gonna happen, bro. So, Eva Boy, Spider Low, Badass, and whoever else <coughs> gonna come. Juicy Fuck the Rag campaign, and it him a platform that now I respect even more because you are giving my nephew, AD, and Thompson Crip a platform. Allegedly. God damn it, do it. If it helps you and it's friendly, <laughs> put them niggas on there. If you need me to add to the two, <laughs> I give y'all that. That's Other what's up. That, bro, I ain't tripping. My man, Wack. Thank you. He's always down to clear the air. I love this fucking guy. It's all love, man. Shit, get a family, my love. Man. 100%. Hey, I'm trying to invest in the diaper brand, man. Yeah, you better invest in that BMF movie coming too. You see what's going on. You ain't slow. I don't know if I want to get involved in that, but I definitely want to. I'm, I'm more about the diapers. Yeah, that's there too. Oh, okay. That's there too. That's, that's definitely there. They should make but partner the mascot. I, I want to do that 
That other game we right. talked about for the independent artist. I need that green light from me. Let's go. I want to do it. Hey, my daughter can model for the diaper brand? That's crazy. Man, that, she can do that right now out of disrespect. You know, whatever you want, we can set that up. Just let me know. That ain't no problem. Ooh, Parker Mac. Let's go. Appreciate that. Love, bro. Appreciate you. All right. Much love, Wack. Park 100. Just like that. Parker 100. Too real. Look at us just tapping in right there. <laughs> Crazy. I love uh, I love uh, Street tapped in, Adam. It's very funny. You see me. <laughs> AD, you changed this nigga whole life, bro. Yep. I'm not even going to hold you. Ain't nothing changed. <laughs> 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 Still the same OG. <laughs> okay. You know I had to ask him those questions because then I get to go on YouTube and watch videos of other YouTubers talking about the conversation that I just had. And my favorite mm. type of content to watch is obviously content about me. Yeah, of course. Like reaction videos to whatever some shit you said. We in the building. Did you watch that video of a? Uh of a Nina boy talking to Baby Stone Gorillas when they was young as fuck. Crazy. They were young as fuck. I wish I had asked him about that on the interview. I wish you had asked him about that too. Bananas. That was honestly the funniest shit I ever seen in my life. The fact that he was a young ass kid just claiming the set. Oh, they were in like middle school for sure. Yo. He had to be in like sixth grade, maybe seventh grade. That was hard. <laughs> That shit is hard. He's like a little ass kid he's claiming where he's from, bro. That was tight. Yes, I was like, oh, shit. And he's like, oh, you're a gangbanger. Yep. Those are, oh. those are not the little kids you want to run into. Hell no. <laughs> like, uh -uh. Them is not the little niggas you want to run into. Like, oh, no. You know? Well, they're grown men now, but I just meant like. They're hilarious yeah. on the podcast. People are loving it. They, didn't, they got high as fuck and just kind of stopped talking at a certain point. But <laughs> that's how it be. That's how I'm feeling right now, honestly. Yeah. Me too. You just high as hell in that helmet. Off huh? that fucking Kazumi pack. Damn, this is a whole endorsement for AD's product out here. Uzumaki, man. I'm sorry, I keep saying Kazumi. Uz you, the Uzumaki pack. She can uh, smoke it too. I'm pretty sure AD took a nap in there. Yo, what if you <laughs> literally <laughs> fell asleep? I low key was dozing off. He's, he used to fall asleep on the podcast, all the or not the podcast, but on the stream. Oh, yeah. He used I believe to be. That. And then he, at a certain point, we transitioned to him just sleeping on the couch. And I had a sign too. So you said, said this shit sucks. Said AD, AD <laughs> he used to hold it up for like every song because <laughs> he's not a man of the people. Uh, yes, I am. People were mad at you for for throwing the clothes when they uh, when we did the review. Yeah, you were a bad reviewer. My you bad? weren't. You were not shit. respectful of the fans' product that they sent in. My bad. My bad. I tried to tell you. You were like, huh? you ain't trying to tell me shit. <laughs> he did. That say. was a no jumper return. You were probably so bad when you were opening Christmas presents. <laughs> Man, I just opened them before Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> break, <laughs> break into your mom's closet hey, and I open it up. <laughs> I used to open the bottom of the motherfuckers. You were fucking hilarious. Hey, I swear to God, my grandma <laughs> bought me a game system one time. By the time Christmas came, I already had the game beat. Oh my God. RP wow. Granny. You didn't just wait? <laughs> nah, they ain't how I roll. <laughs> The fact that you're just, I, I still think everything you're saying is a little bit funnier because you're wearing this fucking helmet. Yeah. It's honestly making this episode way better. I could be Homelander with the blonde hair. Nigga, your hair is green. Right now. Once I wash it out, it's blonde. We, who knows how long that's going to take. I hope I, it doesn't have like a little bit of green in it. It's not like you shower every day, so who, lo, who knows how long that's going to take. I will be showering as soon as I get home. That's the whole plan nah, right now. You're going to wear this next week. <laughs> This whole <laughs> is just, just going to add it into this normal rotation. Yo, by the way. I would say my boy, got a, he got a movie role. <laughs> if you wore this as much as you wore that hoodie, it would start to like deteriorate and you would just look crazier and crazier. <laughs> that was just one little period of my life. Nah. It was brief. You're probably wearing the same briefs. Just one little trip. <laughs> just one little trip. The whole office is going to be wearing my old underwear now. Yo, what, that's what you brought up here? Old underwear? Well, that's one of the things I brought. Y'all nigga took that. Y'all disgusting. <laughs> Y'all going to get fucking high. <laughs> you think gonna You're not going to take the free used FDP underwear? Hell no. I wore a few too fuck many times. Hell Pants. No. And pajamas. Whatever the fuck. Pants. Put, we're talking about boxes. You going to be jammers. <laughs> You're going to give niggas the athlete's dick. <laughs> <laughs> they can spray. You, get the spray. you gotta hit him with the disinfectant spray for sure. You gotta hit it with that. 
Alberto Rodriguez said, happy C-Day, Vel. R.I.P., homie. Yeah, Vel uh, lost one of his good friends. He Damn. actually let his, he let his friend borrow his motorcycle, and then his friend got on No, he said, he said he didn't know. He said he took it without him knowing. Oh, really? Yeah, I asked him on Instagram yesterday. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, man. Shout out to Vel, man. Shout out to, like, you know, like, no jumper family right there. Terrible. Shout out, Vel. Shout out to Bill, man. I hope he's all right. Wim shit said we need a P-Way long way interview. I completely Damn. agree with that. Mm-hmm. That would be Hopefully good. you don't do me like Vlad and just not answer any of the questions. Long way, long way. No, nah, not. That was one of the best Vlad interviews ever. Mm-hmm. Maddox said, what the F is up? No jumper, Adam looking like a pimp joker. Shout out AD. He retweeted my reply. Bitch, you want to make some money? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that sounds familiar. Yep. Who are you saying? Oh, he, uh, uh, Sharp said that? The worst part about today is that I can't use my fucking face to open my phone. As it thinks you're a fucking psychopathic killer. Yeah. So they won't let you. You see the black it. around your eyes. I know it wasn't you. Yeah. But what's weird is that Parker didn't miss a beat. She just acted totally normal when she saw me like this. Well, she, she knew the smell. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like, she knew the smell. <laughs> Fried tuna. That, 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 That's the level we're on right now where she, whenever she sees me, pretty much, she just points at me. Da. And you know what? I think I seen you post a selfie while you were getting ready and Parker was on the ground. So she saw you like progressively turn into this monster. A little bit of it. She was napping for most of it. She's smart though. She's like, nigga, I've seen you. She's know, putting it together. She's like, I know that's you under there. A crazy moment in raising a child is when you realize that they already know how to fake cry. That's crazy. Like sometimes she really cries when she's actually upset. And then other times it's just, eh, and it looks a lot like it, but it's and her just like, trying to get you to do something. Mm. They're smart, man. These kids. My girl taught her a new motion. Going like this means more. And mm-hmm. So now she's banging this all day. <laughs> just, That's her set. She's she has no idea why What's she's do doing it. She's more. But she's just banging on more. She's Morgan. More. She does this a lot too. More she, house. She goes Here's halfway. Morgan. Halfway with it. Morgan Freeman. <laughs> We're so hot. <laughs> <laughs> Get it, Morgan Freeman? Yuck vibe said, AD the Big Bad Wolf and House Fun Little Red Riding Hood, LMFAO, no cap. Wow, how we didn't notice this? This is perfect. <laughs> Yo, pause, man. Adam, interview President Jack Free Jack. I do not know him, but I will check Who's that President out. President Jack? I don't know. Xavier Banks. Today's my mom's birthday. She passed last year. R.I.P. Hey, HBD. Man. Shout R. out Xavier Banks, man. Rest shout, in peace. Out, shout, shout out Miss Banks. R. All R. the mamas out there. Damn. Yeah. I think we've uh, done what we came here to do. AD's asleep in there. AD done. Did you eat a ring? <laughs> he don't even eat edibles. He's just fried. Me either. I'm... He's just born this way. Can we fucking keep Trev out of here? So I was bumming you out, <laughs> triggering make, you. He, he's making me feel weird. Oh, is that me? Can you okay. come? Can you come over one more time before before the show is over? <laughs> sit in house on his lap. Yeah, no. Sit in sit in Adam's chair. Here, no, like, just get between them so that people can get a screenshot of you three together. <laughs> Crash down a little bit. Why okay. you gotta touch my elbow? I mean, Beautiful. My, my, oh. I mean, I'm not people, tweet that. That's hard. That's hard. This is scaring me. I can't even look at you. When I look at that shirt, I feel like our merch has come a long way. I'm Caillou. Yeah. That's not my favorite Kai. shirt we ever made. Not my favorite shirt. I kind of like the one Yuri's wearing. That one's cool. I've seen him wear it like 90 times before. But... That was a good drop. Wait, speaking of drops and clothes, Yuri finally got his fucking ass pizza collab <gasps> that we waited fucking nine months on. Give me a weed pack. Yeah, I need, I need some to weed go home for and smoke show. something. I'm trying to smoke your weed, beast you man. Wait, hold on. If that's it, you gotta just land on the ground. I'm gonna take it. That's what Yuri. Taking all of it. Nah, Yuri. Yuri stole my weed last time. Fuck him. No, no, no. We'll smoke one together, and I'm gonna take one home. Hey, I put one day. Gram, man. I'm about to wait. My phone's dead. It's over there. Hey, D, you hitting the Home Depot parking lot before you go home? Oh shit! All right, people. I'm gonna need you to do me a favor, Josh. What was the contest you said we were gonna do? Can we go to Horror Nights? That yeah, can we go to Horror Nights for real? And the Best comment on this episode is gonna win a No Jumper prize pack. But how did they sign up on Attentive? It's in the description. In the, description. The, the phone number. Text, Text the phone number in the description and drop a comment. And we're going to be picking one person, give them a big-ass prize. It's going to be great. Oh, yeah. Watch me on Twitch every Monday. 
Also, everybody. Seven o'clock, the anything show. Everybody follow me on Instagram at property a house phone. They got my other Instagram out of here. That is my uh, temporary page. Follow it. You know, maybe. Pray for house phone and do know. Maybe the person that my 10th 10, 10, thousand follower is going to get something for free from me. So Anal. Give, so me, give me the me. 10K. He I'm, can't. He's finally below cam girl again and he can't handle it. I literally can't. I need. I need. I need to be back. You got a vanquish. I got so much shit. I got to drop. That's why I can't not have an Instagram right now. Facts. All right, y'all. Much oh, wait, wait. Everybody. And we're doing. We're doing a live stream right now. Oh. At 9 p.m. Me and Yuri, featuring Zan Princess and for other friends. What? Let's Make sure.